Yippee, there'll be no wedding bells for today. I got spurs that jingle, jangle, jingle, jingle, jangle, as I go riding merrily along. Jingle, jangle, and they sing, oh, ain't you glad you're single? Jingle, jangle. And that song ain't so very far from wrong. Jingle, jangle. Oh, Lily Bell. Oh, Lily Bell. Oh, Lily Bell. Oh, Lily Bell. Though I may Bell. have done some fooling, this is why I never fell. If I got spurs, that jingle, jangle, jingle. Jingle, jangle. And I go right merrily along. Jingle, jangle. And they sing, oh, ain't you glad you're single? Jingle, jangle. And that song ain't so very far from wrong. Jingle, jangle. Hi guys, I'm getting all situated. And then there was me. Hello, how's everybody doing? Let me get my game open here. Make sure I got everything situated. Yes, it looks like I do. How is everybody doing? Let me say hello to everybody. Hello, Neville, hello, Sarah, hello, Israel, hello, Camilla. Hello, Lucian. I think that's everybody. Hi, guys. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well today. So, uh, we are level 26 now. So, we're high enough level to be able to go to the one train station and get the railway rifle. So, that's the first thing we're doing. And then after we get that railway rifle, uh, we are going to do some stuff with Nick. I have Nick's quest to go get... Um, his uh, hollow tapes that he wants to go get. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're using the Lucianator. Lucia's favorite gun. The Lucianator. To be fair, I really like it too. So, you know. I'm not mad about it. Ah! Go away! <laughs> it's probably a little overpowered, but whatever. <laughs> There's DSLs, right? <laughs> oh, 
Oh yeah, I haven't seen you in a while either, sir. I hope that you are doing well. It's nice that you're able to stop by for a little while today. Always nice when you're able to come by. Are you alive? Not anymore. I can never tell with that one. I hear you. Stop it. I really shouldn't be using this gun because I really don't have that much ammo for it, but it's so fun. All right, so the railway rifle is not in that one. I went the wrong direction. It's in this one. Yeah, it should be in this one. There it is. There it's not. Where is it? It should be uh, right here. It should be like on top of this sleeping bag, but it's not here. Oh, there it is. Hooray. I thought it was missing. I've had a couple of times where it just doesn't spawn in and it makes me so sad. So, so sad. Everybody's just saying hello to everybody. I've been a little busy because you got a secret. You got a secret? I want to know. Uh, everybody's just saying hello. New Vegas is secretly Fallout 5. Wouldn't that be funny? I'm just going to go back up and see if we can do anything to the railway rifle here. Hello, Coco Latte. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing well today. Very much appreciate you stopping by here. Lucia's confused. Lucia's always confused. That's why we love him. Thought that you were young. Oh, looks like we got some snow. That's always fun. All right. Let's see what we can do to this thing here. Long barrel. Do that. I like the reflex sight, personally. But I think that's pretty much all that we can do to it. I don't know how much ammo we have for it. Let's take a looky-loo. None. Okay. Well, we're going to go ahead and favorite it. And then I'm going to put it away. <laughs> Since apparently I have no ammo for it, which kind of sucks big ween, but that's okay. Uh, did I pick up anything else? I don't think so. Well, there we go. All right. So we're going to be doing uh, stuff with nickel pickle here. So that should be this long time coming. And I believe we're supposed to listen to the first tape, and then that'll Message give us some of the Johnny points, Montrano. maybe? I don't remember. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. Kinda young, but not too young, right? Hello, dog. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing well today. Watching today, co from a month ago. Oh, and me and Scarlet were doing uh, Stardew. That stream got like so messed up because we had so many issues with Discord chat for some reason. <gasps> Pete is here. Hi, Petey. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you, sir. Hope you're doing well today. Appreciate you stopping by. I know you've been super busy with school and work and all that good stuff, but it's always nice to see you here. Told your Discord to come say hi. Thanks, Noble. I appreciate it. All right. I love but this no. snow. I love this weather mod. It makes everything so pretty. So I'm going to wait for Eddie to stop talking. And then we'll see if we had anything come up on the map here. Yeah, what's the secret? I want to know the secret. I want to know the secret. Ooh, snow. Hey, Dan. How are you, sir? Welcome to the stream. Hope we're doing well today. Congratulations, Johnny. You got me. Appreciate you. Step in there. Yeah, load the stream with the peeps. Heard that. Always love new peeps coming around. Oh my god, Eddie, stop talking. Hey, Lawrence, welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing well today. Hurricane Michael. Uh, that didn't come near me at all. Also, hello, Princess Baird. Welcome to the stream. I hope that you're doing well today. Very much appreciate you stopping by. Um, I didn't get anything from Hurricane Michael. That was a lot more south. Um, a lot more central south than where I am. Um, I think it was a lot more in, um, like, Texas kind of area than out my way. But it looks like it's going to be pretty nasty. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Petey's excited the dance here. Oh, yeah. Have a stream. <laughs> Have a stream is me saying hello. Exactly. It really is. All right, explosions. We're starting off strong. I love this snow. It looks so good. 
You guys dig in the snow? This weather mod, I think, is my favorite mod that I play with, is this weather mod. All right, so let's get that tape. We'll get the other locations here. Any winter tapes? Oh, there we go. I don't know how long it's going to take us to collect all the tapes. I don't know if that's going to end up being a lot of what the stream is or not. I'm not sure. I haven't been to some of the locations, so. Uh, your daughter turned one. She's been with her grandparents. That's why you can never get into joining the live stream. Oh, no worries, Sarah, but that's awesome that you had a birthday over there. Good deal. Everybody's saying hello. Oh, <laughs> thanks, dog. I very much appreciate it. I do also have a dog. I have a husky. There's some videos of her on the channel, too. She's playing with a toy over in the hallway, being a good girl. <laughs> Lush isn't leaving. Okay. <laughs> oh, Lush was saying bye to, fa to Princess Ferret. Okay. And Computer Fox is here. Hello, Computer Fox. Well, welcome to the stream. I'm glad you got a ride home there. I know you were a little stuck at uh, school, which was not so good. But I'm glad that you got home okay. Gangster. That's appropriate for what we're doing. All right. Terminals are not my bag. Can everybody hear everything okay? Everything should be fine. I didn't change any settings since I streamed last, but I always like to double check to make sure everything is all good for everybody. You know what? I don't even really care about doing that. I think this is the one that has doggies upstairs. That could be a lie, though. Uh... Oh, look, Dan's just saying hello to Loosh. Just stopping in on his witch's stream. Everybody's still saying hello. Dog is named Harambe. My dog's name is Vivi. Just to admire. Oh, the, um, uh, the blankets? Yeah, I use that blanket as a, as a, uh, blind because I'm lazy <laughs> and don't feel like getting a real blind for that window. Sorry, puppies. Dog, you might not want to watch this. We're killing your family. Is it just the two of them? I thought there were more. I guess it's just the two of them. I did think that there were more of those doggies, though. Hmm. Hello. Oh, there you are. I thought that there were, like, three doggies. I guess not. Suck up in the bleachers in Diamond City. No! I was gonna play the Incredibles game. Never played it. Playing some PS4 was doing a side quest and it glitched. Boo! Uh, do I play Mortal Kombat? I do not play or have not played Mortal Kombat on the channel, but I do have it for PlayStation 4. Throw temper tantrums. Have Pugs have a problem with breathing. Yeah, I've heard about that. I actually was looking about, um, whenever we got our doggy, I was either, I really wanted to get either a pug or a French bulldog, but, uh, there were none available near me anywhere, so we ended up going with the husky, but I like her. She's a good dog. Need to cover doggo's eyes. Yeah, we do rampage on their family. Exactly. Avoid killing any dogs. I'm trying. I don't like killing them. Streamer, you were my good friend when Dutch was one who was playing The Witcher. Uh, <laughs> Dan wants to adopt dog. Uh, I have Planet Coaster, Lawrence. I have done yeah, one just regular them. uploaded video of Planet Coaster on the channel. I have not ever live streamed it, but I have played it before. Played the original Roller Coaster Deluxe. I used to play Roller Coaster Tycoon all the time when that originally came out a really, really, really long time ago.
Is she single? <laughs> Not the planet coaster. I had a hard time with planet coaster. It's like, I don't know. I thought it was a little bit confusing. It's set up kind of oddly. So it took me a little while to get used to it. Witcher 3 is massive. Now you're alone. <laughs> oh. Would you stop walking away from me? I want to kill you. Like that. Good job. Thanks. that you were Emma. Who's Emma? That's a hard game to play. My girlfriend. Oh, thought you thought that Lush was with Emma. Heard that. I was like, what are you talking about? Boop. Sorry, guys. No one. No one's out there. Everything is fine. Good friends. Have a husband. Good deal. Harambe hey. plus dog. <laughs> oh, Preston Gravy's here. Good to see you, sir. There you are. You I might need you to give me some quests later. I know that a settlement needs our help somewhere. You're always the best at finding settlements in, in need. And I would never want to deny settlers the chance to be happy. Now, what is she doing all the way over here already? Oops. I didn't mean to take that. Oopsie. Now we're not straight edge anymore. Our character hadn't done any drugs. Now we're gonna get addicted to crack or something. Uh, cooks you dinner to. Oh, that's good, Sarah. <laughs> Am I a synth? Of course I'm not a synth. But a lot of my friends are synths. They can't be trusted. Oh, we leveled up. Okay. What do we want to do? Um. Um, 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 um. I think I want to take a rank in armor so we can up our stuff a little bit. Hello. I don't think they're going to be getting uh, started very much more. Getting a stream. All right, computer box, have a wonderful stream. Thanks for stopping by. And I'm sure I'll see you later on. If you can kill them, most likely you will in this game. Heard that. <laughs> All right. Oh, I know you're here. I'll find you. Oh, this is not the way I wanted to go. Scared, huh? We'll go that way in a little bit. Hello, Cat Lovers Anonymous, and welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well today. Appreciate you stopping by. Having some lockpick issues okay. today. In battle, where your exorcist and jump on top of bad guys. Oh. She's got all day to get murdered by me. Oh, no worries, Sarah. All right. Ooh, you cracked your neck. Eh, I hate that. 
So one of these is the like chief's office. Got a thing for antiques, huh? There we go. I think it's this one. Excellent. Wi-Fi is acting up. Oh no worries. I hope it starts to work better for you. Went to pet your cat and his little Oh god, Pete. <laughs> There's my sweet roll mod. So happy I got that one. <laughs> Makes those sweet rolls look delicious. Boop. All right. And now we have the evidence locker key. And I think there's another Eddie Winter tape in there that's like addressed to Nick, kind of. Yes. Sling of ours in the ship. That is going to I have no idea what you're talking about. Teresa May is here. Hey, Teresa May. Welcome to the stream. Sorry I didn't see you coming in. Hope you're doing well today. I have a bunch of mods on. Uh, the quest that we're doing is not a mod, but I do have like a, a fair amount of mods in my game. Yes. Doing a fantastic job. You just don't understand anything. <laughs> I love when we have political figures come into the streams here. It makes me feel important. All right, let's get in here and get this stuff. Batman. All right, so that's the tape that's like addressed to Nickel Pickle. Soap is dead. I have no idea what you're talking about. What soap? What kind of soap? Who's soap? Not right wing enough. You crazy kids. Damn it. I'm not the best lock picker. There we go. Got it. All right, so we should have some more locations here. I'm gonna do uh, the Quincy Ruins last. I always do that one last. Oh, it's your Call of Duty musical. Oh, okay, I was confuzzled. Hello, Lateralist, welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing well today. Appreciate you stopping by here. Always good to see ya. I think I'm gonna go ahead and open my coffee. Yes, open my coffee. It's a double shot. Mm. Like I didn't have enough caffeine today. Just wait and you'll see what will happen. Oh, Teresa May and Dan are fighting. All right. So let's see where else we got kind of unlocky here. I like this area over by, um, I feel like a bandit. What is it? Crowley Mansion or something? I don't know what it is. You guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, oh, all right. So there's one near the library. So we'll fast travel to the library. That's not Red Bull. Ew, Red Bull's gross. In a diamond mine to save the Russian president. Go for it. <laughs> I'm just not a big, you know what? Red Bull to me tastes like Smarties. But I guess, uh, I don't know. I'll have to ask Dan. Dan, do you guys, are Smarties like M&Ms in the UK? Uh, or are they like sweet tart kind of things? Because some places call uh, Smarties rockets. I know that they are, that Smarties are called rockets in Canada. Exactly yeah, you yeah. can deal with that, Nickel. I'm busy. You're back. Welcome back, Sarah. Remain the PM till the day you die. <laughs> are you allowed to? I didn't know if they had a, like, limit on that or not. Rad roaches! The vicious! Hi! Wait your turn! You too! Alright. 
right, now one of those guys was legendary. Ooh. That one's not too bad. Usually I get like really crappy legendaries. Can't drink alcohol because of religion. I'm not a big drinker myself. Still in school. I've been thinking about going back to school. Going to be short rain then. Oh God. <laughs> no worries, Sarah. <laughs> Lush loves Red Bull. Lush is addicted to Red Bull. If there was ever anybody I knew that drank Red Bull like every day, it was Lucian. <laughs> Cause he's like one of the only people I know that drinks Red Bull. <laughs> All right, where else are we going here? You're kind of far away. I'm trying to get to the ones that I can fast travel to pretty easily first. So we have what, Quincy, which I'm gonna do last. I guess we'll do this one. What's our closest to there? Maybe Westing Estates, I guess. We'll go with that. Always with her. Oh, that's fine. People help people out all the time. All right. This snow, though. All right. So we want to go never eat soggy waffles. West. We want to go west. I love the snow. It's so pretty. Who's shooting? People over there. Oh. Oh. Well, that worked out well for me. Good job, wild doggies. Sorry, wild doggies. All right, west. We want to go west. Pretty sure I'm like running on top of the water right now, which is not normal, but that's okay. <laughs> hey, Brad, welcome to the stream. Uh, there's some weird shit going on at the moment with my game. There we go. Let's see if that fixed that. Yes, it did. Okay, good, because that was weird. All right. Oh, what's this? I wonder if we can climb up this tree. Is there anything up here? Oh, that's disappointing. They should have put something cool up here. I made an effort. <laughs> Brad is here. All right. You guys doing anything fun this weekend? I will be baking all weekend, making cookies for my brother's wedding. Got a lot of cookies to make. <laughs> I think we're only doing two kinds this weekend. I know I'm making like eight or nine dozen snickerdoodles, and then I'm going to be making probably the same amount of lady locks, which are a huge pain in the ass if you've ever made them before. Incoming missile. <laughs> I hope not. Hello. Yeah, that's it. What is this? Hatch. Owie! We're going in! <laughs> I don't even know what that is! What is this? I don't think I've been here before. This is just a little shelter full of guns and their fridge. Interesting. Have you guys found this before? I don't think I've ever found this. Huh. Neato. 
<laughs> That's a lot of Nickies, right? That's a lot of Snickerdoodles. Now it's going to take nine years to load. Story of my life. We'll have some coffee while we wait. There we go. Yeah, I don't think I've ever found this before. Neato, gang. Something new. All right. I keep meaning to go into my mods and seeing if there is... Um... If there is a different option for the water that I use. So I always feel like the water is way too blue. But the water is part of the weather mod. And I love the weather mod so much. I'm not going to deactivate it, you know. Learn how to quick scope. Ooh. I don't think I know how to quick scope. 360 no scopes. I just shoot at stuff and hope I hit it. <laughs> that's, that's my general strategy. Shoot wildly. You'll hit something eventually. And hopefully it's what you meant to hit. Okay. I see a ghoulie. Choo. Hey. Wait your turn. me right now <laughs> can't do no scopes in the last of us i only played the last of us for like i don't know maybe two hours or so i was not a fan most people really really like that game and i just like couldn't get into it i don't know i think it's because i Ended up looking at it basically like a permanent escort mission because you had that chick with you. Found a copy, copy of Diablo 1 and I've been trying to get a dupe glitch to work for like two hours. I've never played Diablo. You guys have been super into that lately. I know you and Madam and Hefe have all been playing it and uh, Mr. K was playing it too. Ow, can you not do that please? I wasn't even bothering them. So rude. So I wonder if the death claw killed people yet. Cause normally there's a <coughs> there's a death claw here. There's like the super mutants. And there's a death claw. Owie. And they fight. Oh, there he is. Hi, buddy. It's like serpentining. Stop it. There we go. The chick is named Ellie. Yeah, there's like a girl. There's like some chick. Yeah, but I don't know. It wasn't like, I didn't hate it, but it definitely was not my favorite game. And I ended up not really playing it that much because I just couldn't get into it. I don't know. I'm not a fan of like escort missions in general. And I know that she gets like better the more that you play it. But I got super frustrated that you had to have her with you all the time. And I think I would have also maybe liked it better if it wasn't in third person. I don't know. Most of the games that I play are in, are in first person. I, there are definitely a couple that I play that are in third person. So I'm not like super opposed to third person or anything. But most of the ones that I play now are all first person games. So being in third person really threw me off. Did that blow up yet? I don't know. I'm going to just avoid that. We'll go around. Oh, another death claw. Hi, buddy. Let 
me shoot you in the tummy. They don't like if you shoot them in the tummy. I mean, I wouldn't either. Hey, Benny Wad, welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well today. Appreciate you stopping by. Have tons of homework. That's no good. Lucia's Diablo. <coughs> Diablo on PS1. There. I need to find my PlayStation 1. I think it's at my mom and dad's house. I have an original Xbox over there I need to get to. Because we have a couple of games that aren't, um, like they don't work on the 360, like they only will work on the regular Xbox. And I keep meaning to pick it up whenever I'm over there and then I just don't. I forget. All right. Probably isn't too much stuff that we're gonna get from here. I know that there's a couple ammo boxes and there should be some more some more super mutants for us. Oh, he's dancing! There's a dancy little a dancy little death claw. What's that? I'ma take it. Raider. Hey, Tracer, welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well today. Appreciate you stopping by here. After I open this, I'm going to give the chat a looky-loo and see Sweet. what everybody's talking about. Pre-ordered. Oh, so Color War 6? Ooh, I need to go pre-order um, Tetris Effects. I know they're actually taking pre-orders for it now. I just haven't uh, gone to do that yet. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting to do all kinds of stuff. Oh, thanks, Tracer. I do really much appreciate that. I appreciate you stopping by. I do hope you have a good time while you're here. It's over, Tess. Didn't see your comment. Which one? The one about pre-ordering stuff? Did I miss another one? I missed it. I'm sorry. You're gonna stream Tetris first. You probably are, Luge, because I'm gonna need to uh, move the PlayStation 4 upstairs to stream it. And I'm not gonna be streaming it in VR like you are, so. You'll be at an advantage, young man. <laughs> Oh, goodness. That's neat that they're going to have it in VR, though. I feel like they've been having a lot more stuff come out in VR. Oh, look, they died together. That's so sweet. What, these dead people? That's real nice, Nick. I feel like they've been having a lot more stuff come out in VR that's going to look really neat in VR. Why can't I go up here? What is the problem? I want to go up here. Rude. Jerk ass game. Too violent for me? Oh, definitely not. Definitely not. I just couldn't get into it. I just didn't really like it. But definitely not too violent. <laughs> I have yet to find something that is too obscene. I have like a really high tolerance for that kind of stuff. I'm pretty hard to offend. Like most buttons for Call of 6 is when armor breaks on the men because they become half naked. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Considering most of the time it's just the ladies that they do that to. Alright, where else can we go here? The Oh, the Coast Guard. I like that one. Maybe we'll go do that one. Let's just go back to Westing and we'll just go over there. VR catalog this year has been stellar. Sony said 2019 will be. Ooh. Hello, The Real Vital. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well today. Doing Appreciate you stopping by here. Never eat soggy Pretty waffles. Southeastish. There we go. I believe you should create. 
re resonate with Cosworth. I already have it. Let me see. I should have the uh, the robot one. Yeah, robot sympathy. Because of my relationship with Cosworth, Cosworth I received plus 10 damage to robots. We uh, had Cosworth hanging out with us first here. Hey, Petey Barlow's here. Welcome to the stream. Very much appreciate you stopping by. Haven't seen you in a while. Hope you're doing well. Always good to see ya. But I do appreciate you stopping by here. We are on our way to the Coast Guard and I can't see anything. But what's new? That's usually what happens when we're playing this game, huh? I do have PS4 Noble, but I don't have uh, the online service for it. I don't have the PlayStation Online, so a lot of the games that you guys play together and stuff, um, I'm not able to join in, unfortunately, because I don't have any of the online services for it. But I do. I do have PS4. I'm not on it uh, crazy frequently. Because most of the time, if I'm if I'm streaming, it's pretty much always from the computer. Um, unless I'm streaming from an older console. Oh shit! That worked out okay. Yeah, unless I'm streaming from one of the older consoles, I have streamed from like my GameCube and stuff before. Can you not do that, please? I would very much appreciate it. I also need Nick to come over here because I think I picked up too much stuff. Oh, there you are. All right. everybody talking about why is bullseye dressed up as daredevil i don't know <laughs> oh yeah i know you're getting beat saber i'm pretty pumped for you to be playing beat saber because that just looks fantastic Yeah, Beat Saber looks awesome. But since it's the VR, I will get super, super, super sick if I tried to play it. But Beat Saber looks super cool. That is one that I would definitely like. If I already had a VR, I would probably get it to try it. But since I don't have a VR... Hello? I'm not gonna, um... I'm not gonna go buy a VR just to play it, you know? You're going to be Daredevil for Halloween? I'm being a vault dweller for Halloween this year. Because I didn't have time to do... I usually do like a pretty elaborate costume. And I just didn't have time to get anything together this year. So I'm doing a vault dweller because I already have everything for it. I already have um, all the clothing for it. And I have a pit boy So the only thing I needed to buy was uh, I bought a like belt leg gun holster kind of thing um, so that I can have a, a pistol but that's the only thing I had to buy so that was nice so I'll have to save my ideas I had for this year for next year and then maybe I'll be able to do something a little bit more crazy next year Oh, come on. There we go. You'd be MJ if you wanted a tight budget. I mean, you could be a low budget MJ. You just get a wig, Loosh. All you need is a white t-shirt and some tight black pants. And then you can be like, more like 90s MJ. You know, that wouldn't be that bad. I am going to have uh, a start playing Red Dead 2. 
Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. If I'm going to stream it or I'm going to do it as a just a everyday kind of upload series. I haven't decided, but I'm definitely gonna be getting it. Nice. Is that that's gonna be a PS4 exclusive, isn't it? Maybe that could be a lie. I don't know. I could be making up stories. Oh, that computer down there is the one I wanted, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. His tape is upstairs. Like the 90s MJ albums the most. I think I do too, actually. I think a lot of people like, um, like those ones best. He was kind of at his peak then though. So I don't know if that really has, if that has anything to do with it that people tend to like those ones the best because I think they had the most singles on them and stuff. It's possible. Where are we going? There we go. Can't get it because of the M rating. I think that's what you were saying uh, the one other time that you were hanging out. That you can't, uh, you weren't able to just go buy it because that's what I was saying. My, my mom used to buy me stuff all the time. Whenever they would, like, card for it and whatever, she would just pick them up for me. My mom was always really cool about that, though. Like, she used to take me to midnight releases for games and stuff. She didn't care. All right. I think I want to go into that one trailer that's down at the bottom and open that and get whatever's in there because I think there might be some more ammo in there. And then we'll probably have to head back to Sanctuary to drop off our stuff. Uh, and then we can head back out to get some more of the tapes here. Since I kind of have a general idea of where most of them are, and it gives you the map markers, we probably are going to end up getting all of them this stream and going and doing the Eddie Winter stuff with this stream. I don't see why not. Quincy could be a bitch. I could have problems in Quincy for sure, though. Because I'm like, I'm decently like leveled, but I'm not like high level, you know? History is your favorite, second is invincible, and third is dangerous. I don't know what my favorites are. My favorite Michael Jackson song is Rock With You. But I don't know, you know what? I don't know, I really like the Thriller album, honestly. That might be my favorite album, Loosh, is the Thriller album. Who has for nudity and Red Dead 2? All the cowboys. Hey, wizard, welcome to the stream, sir. Always good to see ya. I saw your message that you left on the stream chat earlier. Appreciate you stopping by and saying hello, of course. Hope Something you're doing you well need. today. I should have done more. You should have done more. You're a terrible dad. All right, that's the AK that we named the Euro Babe. So I'm just gonna put that one away. That's just an extra. That's just an extra. All right, so I'm just gonna put that one away. My grenades, I don't even need them. Like I use Molotovs way more than grenades. That can just get put away. I think I picked up a bunch of like healy stuff. I'm so grumpy at myself that I took that jet on accident. Ham chops. Oh, I didn't realize I had that many. There we go. Thriller is great too. Don't want to go to a strip club in Red Dead 2. You'd rather commit suicide in the game? I mean, I'm probably going to be hanging out in it. <laughs> I love when games put in that kind of like a random crap though. 
Gonna be more for actual authenticity and realism. See that, yeah, and that's that's the thing that I think some people are really excited about is that they are gonna have those things added in, and it's supposed to be like way more, like you said, um, have way more realism in it than other other games that have come out. I think I'm just gonna go to the witchcraft museum and we'll travel down to um, the police station that I really like. That's near that one, like houses full of ghouls. Look at that cute little doggy, though. What a cute little dog. Let's see if I got a text message from the person that called me. I have a voicemail. Un momento, por favor. I'm going to text them. Because it was Joe. Let's see. Let's ask him. Super professional. Uh, Wild Wild West was dirty times. Yes, it was. That's what makes it fun, though. Alright, let's make sure we're going the right way here. Yeah, we're good. This is also one of the fancy weathers in the weather mod I have. It's like additional rad storms and stuff. Isn't that neat? I think it just looks so good. It just looks so snazzerific. You can bury your head in the sand didn't shy away. No, they definitely did not shy away from stuff in that movie. I like that movie. I only saw it once, though. I saw it at the theater. And that was the only time I saw it. But I really liked it. I thought it was good. I thought it was pretty good. Alright. There's a Meyer Lurk Queen around here somewhere. I think she comes out if you go to one of the, there's like a church. There's like a church out here somewhere, I think. Maybe it's up farther. Maybe it, yeah, it might be up towards the museum more up in there? I don't remember. I don't remember. Or maybe it's here. I don't know. <laughs> Lucia's dirty and filled with suffering. I'd believe it. Lucia, you want to be my dirty girl instead of my pretty girl? If you really want, we can change it. Let's switch to the pistol for a little while. Sometimes there's raider guys that show up on this bridge. Wonder if they're gonna be here today. Doesn't look like it. And then we'll have to fight the Assaultron. She's probably in a really good mood. Alright. So the Assaultron, she should be over there somewhere. I'd like to get an extra shot in on her. Before she sees us. And there should be a Mr. Gutsy, too. Here's a press perv. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, look. The Brotherhood of Steel. Thanks, guys. I'm sure you're going to be super helpful to me while you're here. Oh, you're doing great, guys. You're doing so good. Doing so good taking out that Mr. Gutsy. Oh man, aren't you glad that they're the, like, military in this game? 
They are just the best. <laughs> or they were there. Do you watch Quentin Tarantino? I like uh, some Quentin Tarantino movies. I haven't seen all of them. I'm a Kill Bill fan. I really like Kill Bill. I actually was wearing Kill Bill socks earlier today. I like the first one better than the second one, but I do like the Kill Bill movies. Uh, I've seen Pulp Fiction a couple of times. It's pretty good. Um, I really like... Uh, they did a double feature, that Grindhouse double feature with Death Trap and... Um, oh, what was the other one called? Planet Terror. Um, I like Planet Terror better. That one was Robert Rodriguez. And then... Um, Death Trap was Tarantino, and I liked Robert Rodriguez's better. I liked Planet Terror better. But I like some of his movies, for sure. But not all of them, but some of them. It's celebrated, but there's no denying that he borrowed... Oh, he definitely did. He definitely did. Oh, what's another one? Um... Um... Dust Till Dawn. I like that one. That's an oldie, though, but I do like that one. Hey, Lightning, welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well today. Watched series the whole day, and now you're thinking of the meaning of life. Oh. <laughs> Hope you're doing well, though. Yeah, and Glorious Bastards. I like that one, too. That's a good one. We always say we're, like, third best when they're talking about that they, um... They need to have whoever speaks Italian, and Brad Pitt's like, he says that he speaks Italian third best. Reservoir Dogs, I have not seen. I know that they cut off somebody's ear, and I know that everybody's named, like, after a color, and they're like Mr. Pink and whatever, like, all that kind of thing. Um, oh, Pikmin was here, but I have not actually seen that one. Or if I have seen that one, I don't remember anything about it. You're like Mr. Pink. I don't even know anything about him. Is that, isn't Steve Buscemi in it? I like Steve Buscemi a lot. It's your profile pic. Paranoid and high strung. Do this every time. I see some series. Start with philosophy. If you start with philosophy, just ignore you. <laughs> never. I could never ignore you. All right, so there's that. Let's see what we're doing here. Yeah, we're still good. Okay. Let's just run right away, eat some food. Let's see if Joe texted me back. I don't know if that was important or not. He's at work. I don't know that he would leave me a voicemail. That's not usually his MO. Alright. Where to go? We have places to go and to be. So what's our closest to the East Boston? I don't really have anything over there. I guess we can go to County Crossing and go down. Mr. Blonde is a loose cannon psychopath. Ooh, fancy fancy. I need to watch that one. Stick to the road, and you got a better chance of surviving. Wolfenstein is like Inglorious Bastards, but in game form. Everybody oh, has... I really only hear good things about Wolfenstein. I've been debating if I want to pick it up or not. Because I don't know if I would get the first one, or I would get the one that came out more recently. It could be. I don't know. He probably left me a voicemail on accident. I could listen to it. You guys think I should listen to it? It could be important. That's true. Or he could have just been calling because he was done with work. He always calls when he's done with work. So it could be that. Wolfenstein kind of annoyed you with two. There was a chick that was... See, I never played it. The only thing I know about it is there's like a weird like zombie monkey that I saw in like the trailers or whatever for it. But other than that, I don't know anything about it. 
Well, and that there's like Nazis. And you're killing them. Because isn't it supposed to be like if, um, if, if they won, isn't it like that kind of thing? Like if they won and how things would be different? that. Go get our other tape here. You know what? Well, that's a beautiful sweet roll. I think we should take it. Alright, where else we got here? That's Quincy. Is that the only one left? It's the only one that's left. I guess we're going to Quincy now. <laughs> oh, man. I do not like going to Quincy. Science to closer makes abominations. <laughs> All right. I'm going to see what this voicemail is. Apologies for my unprofessionalism. But now a wizard has me worried that it's something important. Well, let's see. Okay, so not important, but definitely irritating. Yeah. So he is stuck closing at work tonight now hey, when he wasn't on. supposed to because they just like didn't schedule Please. somebody to close. I'm gonna run some and if Thanks. they didn't have somebody um, like just volunteer to do it, they were gonna make them do a group close, so everybody would have gotten stuck late. So he volunteered to stay. And this is why I absolutely hate where he works, because it's a shithole. So that's always fun. All right, but we're going to Quincy. It's gonna be great. Got in trouble for watching the end. Oh, the end isn't that bad. I mean, everything just like blows up. All right, where do we want to go? I haven't been anywhere near there. I don't think I've even been to the little settlement that's back here. No, it's right there. All right, I guess we'll go to... Uh, I guess I'll go to the... Was this Malden General Hospital or whatever? And we'll make our way over there. And we'll probably come across Billy the Fridge, as I like to call him, on our way there. Right? Oh, the very, very end. I know what you're talking about. That's not too bad. I mean, it's not good, but <laughs> it's not too bad. Do you hear something? It's not me, certainly. I'm leaving. So I'm not, uh, I'm not very happy about him having to close tonight. Obviously, he did it so that everybody didn't get stuck, but, um, I, I used to work where he works. Um, and I worked there for five years and then quit working there because it is probably the worst place I've ever worked. And he's worked there for more than 10 years and is like afraid to quit working there pretty much is how I take it. Um... And he is looking to find a new job. It's a secret. Just because it's so um, bad working there. It's so bad. So we'll see how this goes. He sounded very pissed off in his voicemail. So. He did. He took one for the team in the team of douchebags. Yes, he did. Hey, Secret Drone. Welcome to the stream, sir. Hope you're doing well today. Appreciate you stopping by as always. Good to see you as well. 
You're just in time to see us die horribly. Going to Quincy. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be so good. Are we near Jamaica Plain? Oh, well, it's over a little bit far. Calm down, Nick. Oh, I'm going the wrong way now. How the hell did that happen? We need to go this way. Ooh, and there's a bunch of, like, Mirelurk kings around here, and I can't see jack shit. Perfect. Perfection! What are your favorite movies? Ah, uh, I like a lot of different movies. My favorite movie of all time is The Shining. Um, I like a lot of movies that are supposed to be scary, but I never end up finding them to be scary. Because I'm, like, super desensitized. <laughs> and I end, up, I end up, like, figuring out what's going to happen in them. But I really like horror movies. Um, I like the older Disney movies. I'm not as big on Disney movies that are all uh, computer now. I prefer, like, the older, like, the hand-drawn ones. But I do like Pixar stuff, DreamWorks stuff. Um, I don't know. I like a pretty, like, decent assortment of different, of different things. I don't really have, like, a, only, like, one kind of genre that I like or anything like that, you know? All right. So, Billy is up, like, on this main road, I think. Somewhere around. Yeah, I'm gonna just let them do their thing. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna let those gunners just do their thing. I think Billy's up farther. I think I'm down past him. Hi, bud. All right. a king. There he is. And there he is. Talk about him. And they'll come out and hang out. Perfect. Now where is Billy? He's, I know he's around here like somewhere because he's kind of near Quincy. Oh, well, something's very irradiated in there. Maybe I should not go in that house. But he's like on, he's like kind of on the road. He's not that far right off the road. So I know he's over here somewhere. I mean, we can find him later. It's not a big deal. Oh, well. Yeah, just in time to see the explosions of gore. Exactly. Favorite movie is 2001 A Space Odyssey. Ooh. Hand-drawn enemies be the hell out of the currency. Yeah. Well, you know what it is? Is I don't think they want to pay the animators. It's it's cheaper and faster to do everything computer so they don't do the hand-drawn stuff anymore. Haven't seen the CGI movies either. Just not your cup of tea. Haven't had to watch Frozen. I've never seen Frozen, and I have absolutely zero interest in seeing it, and I will never see it. Ever. Not for me at all. <laughs> Frozen is terrible. Lucia's never seen it, but he's sick of the song. Yeah, I have absolutely zero interest in it. Um, a lot of the, like, newer, like, princessy movies, um, I haven't, I haven't seen. I haven't even, I haven't been interested in seeing, unfortunately, for me, because then everybody is like, oh, you should watch the movies. I'm like, I really don't want to. Because most of them, I end up thinking, are just, like, total garbage. The newer ones. The old ones are fine. It's just, like, I don't know. The new ones are just, eh. Okay, let's see how this goes. 
This is not the way that I normally come in here. I usually come in from the other direction. So, uh, we will see how this goes. Uh, my guess is it's not gonna go well. We're still hidden for the... Oh, that was Nick. Jesus. They're all, like, right there. I don't think we're alive. Good. <laughs> Let's go in the bus. I think it'll come over to the bus. Move, Nick. <laughs> We're trapping ourselves in this bus. It's a really good idea, I'm telling you. I don't think we're alone. everybody talking about <laughs> only musical movie you like is oh night before christmas is really good villains aren't as interesting definitely they're not not much into musical movies though i have seen quite a few they were all the rage when i was younger like uh classic disney well not classic but the the newer classic stuff like beauty and the beast and lion king and all that crap um, was uh, all the stuff that was coming out um, when I was younger. I was the like main age demographic for when that stuff was just getting like back into being super popular and they were making all the like classic princess Disney movies besides the you know the older older ones like Sleeping Beauty and whatever. Um, they were all my age group. So I grew up with them. I do like them. But I'm just always disappointed in the in the newer ones. I don't think that they're as good. And I don't know if that is just a thing of, like, I grew up with the other ones, so I prefer the other ones. Um, or if they are actually better, you know? <laughs> Lucius into adult movies. He would be. And we're dead. Perfect. That's why I saved. <laughs> Used to watch Pocahontas. Pocahontas was good. All right. Who's got a fat man and where are you? The cow. I don't want to shoot Spot the cow. I'm trying to figure out who's shooting it. Now, oh, there you are. ammo, which is not good. I'm running out of ammo for that gun. Okay. Quincy is such a bitch. 
purposefully, but... And I only killed, like, one of the people. We still are gonna have to kill the chick that has the power armor and the power fist. She's a pain in the ass. Who is throwing grenades at me? Oh my god, stop. Did I watch 12 Angry Men? I have not watched 12 Angry Men in a long time, but I remember reading it in school. Everyone likes adult movies, you just don't say. Remember a friend trying to make you like Pocahontas? You were so bored. <laughs> Lion King was definitely my favorite when I was younger, and behind me, you guys can't see it because of where it is, but I have a Simba back there. That's a stuffed animal that I've had since the movie, like, debuted, however many years ago that was. Oh, there you are. Oh my god. I'm gonna die. Okay. Where is my other gun? There it is. There we go. Sorry, Clint. You had to go. Okay. That could have gone much worse, so I'm not too mad about that. All right. Go watch Lion King right now, right? Go watch it right now! Oh, Beauty and the Beast? Belle is my favorite princess. I have a ton of Belle stuff. My mom actually, semi-recently, um, found for me... I had, um... I had a magic mirror growing up that was a that was a toy and uh, she found it and it still works. I have it over on my desk, I think. Jesus Christ. I can never see anybody. I don't know where anybody is. Stupid lady. Come on, asshole. Okay. There we go. I really would have preferred to have just come in here the way that I like to. From the there's an, a different direction you can come from. And I'm usually able to just go in. Kill the chick that's in the power armor with the power fist. Get the stuff from the police station and then just, like, leave. Who are you? Just a caravan guy. Okay. 
I still have not seen the chick with the power fist. Whatever her name is. Make him like you used to. Oh, I want that. Why can't I wear that outfit? This is all crap. I want that outfit. That's no fun. Okay. Door is barred. So there's the guy here. Okay. What is the problem? Like, what is the problem in me going down that little ramp? Oh, man, please don't let that happen again. It's not. It's me. Where are you? You need to die. Everyone likes adult movies walked <laughs> walked in at the wrong time. Heard that. Happens to me uh, way too often. Did you lie? Wizard, come back. We have lots to talk about. <laughs> there we go. Sweet. What the fuck was that? I don't know. What the fuck was that? Where are you? She should be like right here. What's in there now? Is she in the building? Who? There she is. I see her. Take the boo! Hey back down, boogeyman! And I saw at least one dude. Oh, just die. Hooray, we did it. <laughs> Lucia's little ladies can PM you. So I replaced with a shot. Oh, yeah, right? I love that shotgun. That's the Widowmaker. I really like that shotgun. It's really nice. All right. So this should be our last tape here. Oh, there we go. Got it. I wish I had, I really wish I had more ammo for, uh, for this one though, for the Euro babe, because it has its own flashlight. And like, when you put your gun away, here, let me turn it off. It'll move the light over and it changes the flashlight to white instead of green. I don't know. I really like that. But I don't have a ton of ammo for it, unfortunately. The shotgun sounds like porn. <laughs> yeah, lightning needs lightning's gonna make his fake account here. No dark control. Open the door. Okay. So now we can just give everything back to Nikki here. I'm probably not going to bother listening to all the tapes because I've played this game a whole bunch of times. I know you guys have played it too. Hey. I'm all ears. Nick. So, you got something for me? Maybe a pocket full of tapes belonging to an old ghoul? Mm-hmm. Here you I go. I got them all. 
Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Oh, <laughs> wow. That's some real solid detective work. Nick, you're turning into a light. Sure that they've got Eddie's what a silly robot. These are the real deal. And they've still got the code pieces in them. Let me run them through the I ran out of coffee. Sad. My controller's also stuck One, on something. Nine, there we go. Five, three, seven, two, eight, four, are you are you making porn noises? Woo! <laughs> up in Andrew Station. Now, let's go bring down Eddie Winter. Okay. But first we're gonna go to Sanctuary because I have a whole bunch of stuff I wanna get rid of. And then we can go get Eddie. I promise. I promise we can go get Eddie after we drop off all our stuff. And once the game loads, which should be soon, hopefully, hopefully soon. There we go. That's a, that's a problem with mods. <laughs> all right. Oh, we leveled up. Oh, uh, what do we want to get? Chemist. No. Oh, we don't have Mysterious Stranger yet. I'm gonna put a point in luck so we can get Mysterious Stranger. Cause that's a fun perk to have. There we go. <laughs> Lucia's inbox is empty. I'll send you some stuff when I'm done streaming, Lucia. Don't worry. <laughs> Oh, look at that. It's a little laser gun. All right. Did I give anything to Nick? Where is Nick? Nick. Oh, he's probably not going to come back with me, is he? He probably went to the station or whatever. That makes sense. Hello, Bron. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well today. Appreciate you coming and hanging out here. My uh, profile picture on here is from the Sim Secret Jones. That is my Sim self that I made so that it looks like me. At least I think it looks like me. So I made, I made that Sim. I don't even know what we're talking about anymore though. To answer your question, Bron, I have no freaking idea. No idea. All right. Oh, I never made the bobblehead thingy. I should probably do that. Bobblehead, bobbly bobbly heads. All right. Everybody was running Look, everybody is going down here. Who are you people? Hi, how are you? Hi. Hey, General. Hi there. Hello, ma'am. Hello. Who are you people? Hello, ma'am. What are you doing? Well, that's a thing, apparently. Okay. So we need to go to Andrew Station. There we go. In every stream you're in, it's Braun, right? You're not the only one to do on every stream you're in. <laughs> Trying to get yourself JC porn joke. <laughs> They're fun. I'm not mad about it. It's dark. Well, I have no idea where Nick is. I think that he just came here already on his own. Oh, his head fell off. Sorry, puppy dog. Stop shooting me. Also, stop 
shooting me. Not nice. All right. I'll never use that. Instigating pull cue. I always get this shitty legendary. I never get anything good. Yep. Where even are you? No. Go away. That dog just disappeared. Oh, there it is. Oh, there you are. All my guns I like to use are all running out of ammo. Okay. I gotta go back down. Where are the steps? There we go. And there's another dude. Where are you, other dude? Where are you? Oh, there you are. And there you're not. Skyrim VR streams are on fire with- Oh, yes, they are. Especially if I'm there. <laughs> oh, thanks, Ron. I'm not, but I appreciate it. Hey, Nick! Let your car- Your car died? That sucks ass! What happened to the car? Like, the battery died? Can a YouTuber get banned or stricken for their- If their content is fine, but the audience is very nasty? I don't know. Maybe. Probably if it was like really bad. Yeah, probably if it was like really, really bad, but. You guys are never serious. You guys are always just dicking around. Which is fine. That's half, that's all the, that's the fun of it, right? I think that's the fun of it. But yeah, probably. If, if people were like being like overtly terrible, probably. Don't like Uncharted? I played a little bit of, which Uncharted did I play? It wasn't the newest one. Maybe like the second one, third one. I don't know. That. Um was not my favorite game that I've played, but not my least favorite game that I've played. A lot of people really, really like Uncharted because you have like the hook and all that kind of shit. Um, but I really like Far Cry. So, I mean, they're, they're pretty similar, Far Cry and Uncharted. I don't know, I like Far Cry better. At least I think they're decently similar. You guys might not think so, but I think that they're decently similar. All right, let me see what Nikki's saying here. Uh, it's living in the Walmart parking lot. Don't think it's the battery, it won't turn over. Mom had to come drive you home. And then you're gonna look at it when he gets here. Gotcha, probably getting fired on Friday. Why, what is happening? It could be like it's, it could still be the battery, even if the, even if it's not turning over. Like it could still be the battery, or your starter could be bad. It might not be something crazy, crazy, crazy like pricey major. Tired yet? At least I hope it isn't. I hope it's something easy to fix here. Far Cry is too high on crack. Gonna test it. Oh, Code doesn't think that that's what it is. 
Before I give you the rest of the week off with a mandatory personal meeting on Friday. Why? Like, what happened? You'll have to text me and let me know what's, what all the details are. Let me know the deets. Because that sucks ass. And definitely not good. On the cam gear. The alternator, yeah. I guess I'd say the only bonus is at least it didn't have happen what Joe happened where the brakes went out while I was driving on McKnight. Because <laughs> that was not good. <laughs> Yeah, they never did. They never did fix your car properly. You had it back there like four freaking times and they never actually did what they were supposed to do. Because I remember you were down here like so many times trying to get them to fix it. And they just weren't doing what they were supposed to be doing to it. Which never made any sense. Like, I don't know. I don't know why they didn't just fix it. You know? Yeah, no breaks is scary. No breaks is scary. <laughs> when he called me, I was like, what are you talking about? Got it. Because he said that, and I was like, uh, so you wrecked your car and killed, like, 16 people? Because that's probably what should have happened. Well over $1,000. And it's, exactly. They never, they, they never fixed it. I gotta turn the radios off or I get copyright strikes. Um, yeah, you had it back and forth there how many times and spent how, so much money on it and they never actually did what they were supposed to be doing. It made no freaking sense. Bunny called you from across country, bottom of battery problem solved. I hope that that's all it is. I really do, that it's just a bad, it's just a bad battery. And you'll be able to get it situated. Nice. Shadow of the Colossus crew did it? I've been meaning to pick up Shadow of the Colossus. I'll probably, if I do end up getting it, I'll probably get the uh, the remastered version. Um, I've heard nothing but good things about it, and I've never played the game. So I definitely am open to getting Shadow of the Colossus. The problem with a lot of the games that I want to get that are like that is they're, they're console exclusive, like they're PlayStation exclusive, and... Well, I do have a PS4. When I stream, I almost always stream from my PC. And the PlayStation is downstairs in my living room. So we have to unhook the PlayStation and then bring it upstairs. And then we don't have it downstairs. So it would be a lot of, like, moving stuff back and forth, you know? And it would be a big pain in the ass. Uh... Well, you knew something was wrong, and here we are. Oh, I believed you that I heard the noise that it made. There definitely is something wrong. Was something wrong with it? Hundred percent, there was something wrong with it. They just didn't want to take the time to figure out what it was, you know, and just acted like you were a crazy person when you definitely were not, because it made a weird noise for a long time. Lights aren't dim or anything. Hmm. To try Shadow of the Colossus. Yeah, I've heard that it's, like, that it's really good. Like, I've heard nothing but really good things about it. And, I mean, it was good enough that they did a remaster of it, so. Oh, no worries, Doodlebug. Like I said, keep me posted on what's going on with all that crap. Because it definitely sounds like you are not having a stellar day. For sure. And that's just poopy. Yeah. The uh, vet called me with Vivi's um, test results, though, today. So that was good. I know you believe me. Mechanic. Oh, mom. Did, did she not hear it? Because it was like a pretty, like, 
easy to hear noise. Friendly it's not like it was some really like I don't know, really faint sound or anything. Like it was a it was a pretty like, you know, pretty clear to hear sound that was going on with it. One Shadow of the Colossus, PS4 Pro, gives it 60 FPS. Ooh, fancy. See, that's the other thing is I don't have a PS4 Pro, so if I stream anything off the PlayStation, it's going to look like shit. What? Well, that's not true. If I go through the capture card, it probably would look fine. It's if I was, um... It's probably if I was going to... If I was going to stream it straight from the PlayStation and not use the capture card, I feel like it would probably look really bad. But using the capture card with the PlayStation 4, I think it would, I think it would end up being fine. I think so. If you don't get a chat and hear you definitely yeah because i'm like i want to know what the hell's going on with work stuff too like what the frick uh where's this button there it is. she did just think she worried too much mm. so vivi's test for her having a uti came back negative which is good because she's she's not sick right but it's also bad in a way because that means that that's not the reason for her acting out. Um, so the vet thinks that she probably was just having a really bad day that day and that it, she should be, she should be fine. Like if we never, whenever we take her back or whatever, but I don't know how many times she can like get in trouble before she would be like permanently kicked out. So, you know, there's that. I think I'm in some water. Right on the other side of that door. Why don't you do the honors? Sure. One nine. Five, so, I eight, played. Seven. Uh, eight, the first Mass Effect for a little four, while, and was not that big of a six, fan of it because I thought that the controls were really fucking bad. Um, I do have the second Mass Effect, uh, through Origin that I got for free through Origin. Um, oh, come on, and I've been thinking about actually playing Mass Effect on the channel because I've had a lot of people ask me to play it, and Joe loves Mass Effect, so. And he said that Mass Effect 2 is better control-wise and, like, leveling up system-wise and all that kind of stuff. So I'm definitely more interested in playing Mass Effect 2 than I was playing Mass Effect 1. No way. Not after all Could be a good question. Yeah, see, and that's the thing is, like, they know that she was acting really uncharacteristically whenever they had me come get her that day. Like, they called and they were like, you know, she's being really weird. She's not acting like herself. She's never done this before. You know, all that kind of stuff. So they were, like, concerned, like, genuinely concerned about how like bad she was being because she's just not like that so we'll see i think i'm gonna try to the next time that we take her down um i'm gonna just stay there for like 20 minutes and see what happens so that if she does start to be really crazy then i'm gonna be able to just pull her out right away um but i don't want her to get kicked out like she goes down there like three days a week until i get what i came for yeah and what's that and who are you huh you look kind of familiar. Yeah, have me there. See, they won't let me be in the pen with where she is, but I can stay, um, I can stay in the, like, lobby and watch the cameras and stuff. Nick Valentine. Mass Effect 3, I have not played it, but I watched my boyfriend play, because like I said, he really likes Mass Effect. Sorry, pal, but you ain't Nick Valentine. Uh, Andromeda is garbage, though. He was super excited for it, bought it on launch day, and then played it for literally, like, two hours and never touched it again because it's so bad. <laughs> Your fiancé? You mean Valentine's fiancé. Pretty girl. Shame what happened. I like Eddie Winter. I wish you could, like, convince him to not be bad anymore. He should have backed off when he had the chance. But what gives, robot man? Why do you even care? Girl gets whacked 200 years ago. Yeah, why do you even care, Nickel Pickle? Like a hot guy? Christ. Yeah, that's the plan. That's the plan, though, Nick, is I'm going to go down, and the, the next time that we take her, I'm going to go down, and I'm going to just hang out in the lobby um, for, like, 
20 minutes and see, like, um, see what she does and if they, um, if they feel like I need to pull her out again, you know? Not worth the money. Yeah, see, that's the thing is, like, we didn't get our PS4 right at launch. Like, we waited a little while after the PS4 and the Xbox Ones had been out until we made our, like, final decision of which one we were going to get. And we ended up going with PS4. And then the PS4 Pros came out. And we were debating, like, uh, do we want to get a PS4 Pro? I don't know if it's worth the money. For us, anyway. I don't know if it's worth the money when our regular PlayStation works just, like, totally fine. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. If, for some reason, our regular, just regular old PS4 quit working, we would probably get the Pro. Um, but since the regular PlayStation is fine, we, uh don't have it aren't gonna get it unless we need to but like i said if our if our regular one would break so i thought there was a hollow tape in here there it is if our regular one would break we would probably upgrade to the pro but only then only if the regular one just quit working you wouldn't know exactly but digital foundries videos show the difference oh you you went straight for a pro you didn't have a an old like a regular one Soldier Fortune 2 is ridiculous. It's one of the goriest games. That, ooh, I'll have to check that one out. I don't mind a gory game. I have, like, enhanced blood effects and stuff on, on my Fallout here, so if it looks a little bit more gory than it normally would, that's why. I don't have um, Bloody Mess. It's literally just the enhanced blood, blood effects mod that I have on. Hi, doggy. Viv is being a good girl today. I don't know. I think that maybe she was acting out that day because she was irritated and then just, like, had too much energy pent up because she hadn't been to camp in a couple of days and just got, like, really overly excited. But they said that she wasn't, um, she wasn't, like, playing too hard. She was being aggressive. So, I don't know. Joe saw the videos. Um, they, like I said, they have cameras, um in all of the pens so like you can see what your dog is doing the whole time that they're there but he's they showed it to him when um when he got there and he agreed with them like she was being like pretty crazy hey rogue spark welcome to the stream hope you're doing well today haven't seen you in a while always good to have you stop by here so we'll see god of war 3 is mild compared to soldier fortune 2 I haven't played a God of War game since the first one came out. It's been a hot minute. I'm glad I could help. It's been a hot minute since I played a God of War game. Alright. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I don't think we're going to take her tomorrow. We actually have a day off together tomorrow, which is super freaking weirdo. So uh, I know we're planning. We're going to go get sushi, which I'm pretty excited about. And then I don't know what else we're doing. I'm gonna take Viv to the cemetery for a walk. See how the weather is gonna be. It was really hot here today. I have not seen Venom yet, Rogue. Uh, I've heard not very good things about it. <laughs> I've heard that it's not very good. Um, but I have not seen it yet. I don't know. I like Tom Hardy. I like Venom. So it seems like it should be a pretty good combination. But we haven't seen it yet. I don't like going to the movie theater. I always get stuck in that movie theater with a crying baby or, like, kids that are way too young to be at the movie and talk and shit. So a lot of the times we wait until stuff's been out for a little while and then red box it or wait till it's on Netflix or on Hulu. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I kind of want to see it, but I don't want to go to the movie theater. <laughs> Social version 2 is more about dismemberment. Ew. You liked it? Oh, so Rogue, you liked it. That's ours. All the good we've done, that's Who cares the digital foundry shows? Came out in 2002. Don't get those here in Fiji. Oh yeah, it's bad. Like, especially there's there's a really nice movie theater like near where I live. And um, they just kind of let people do whatever they want there. You can drink there. Like, you, they have, like, a bar. 
So it just it just tends to be like I don't know. You, there's like drunk people and screaming kids. It's just bad. It's just bad news. Not helping anyone standing around here. AMC Cinemas. Ah, uh, trying to remember what this one is. I don't remember. Oh look, we got Nick's Affinity Perk. Cool beans. Uh, oh, I think it's a, is it like a Cinemark, maybe? I don't know. It's something. It's something, like, fancy. Like, way nicer than a lot of the movie theaters we have around here. Of course. Let's do it. Glad to hear it. Come on. Let's go. All right, so we got Nick's affinity perk, which sadly, I guess, means we're going to start traveling with Piper. Barf. Uh, I haven't done even the quest with Piper to just take her little quiz or whatever. So, you know. Oh, do you like her? I like her a lot. I made her, and then I really like her outfit. It's from the first Rage game, I guess. I didn't actually play the first Rage game. Um, but her outfit is from there. I watch MXR, um, his, like, mod reviews and stuff, and he did a mod review on the outfit that I have on my lady. And I was uh, really fond of it. I really liked how it looked. So I went ahead and got it off the nexus here and i'm really happy with it i added a little backpack to her um and you're able to layer regular armor on top of the armor that's from the mod which is really nice um because sometimes you're not able to do that so i was pretty excited that you were able to layer regular armor on top of it as well i'll get her out in the sun here so you can see her as i get rid of all this junk that i don't need But I like her. I think she came out. I think she came out pretty nice here. Country top model. That's all bobbleheads. On the railroad. There we go. Yeah. So let's get her out in the sunshine. You can see her a little bit better. But there's a little, a little bikini. Just got like a cute little bikini and then like I said you can put like shoulders and whatever else and then I think I'm wearing the um silver shrouds hat because why not why not wear the silver shrouds hat all right so I'm gonna tell Nick to just you stay here, place here. Your energy. mom Murphy I don't want to talk to you Nick come here get away from mom Murphy she's awful I do. I have played all of the Saints Row games What's except up? for Get Out of Hell, um, oh, which I have. I just have not finished. But I do really like. Uh, I do really like Saints Row. It's about time for you to go, Nick. Shame. I do really like Saints Row. I'll just head home. And then Rage, I've never played. You. Even if your PS4 died, how long till the next one comes out? Yeah, right. Shouldn't really go for a PS4 Pro unless your PS4 dies or you have a 4K TV. Better see Rage 2 on this channel. Oh, some of my... Well, everything's all back there. All my goodies are behind me. And then I have I have a bunch of pictures on the, uh, on the Discord of a bunch of the stuff that I have, too. But I still need to film, like, I keep meaning to film a video and upload a video that's just, like, showcasing a lot of my Fallout memorabilia that I have. Because I have a lot. But I'm so lazy. I'm so lazy to do that. Alright. So we're going to go down and get Piper now. Uh, 2020, soon as we like, 2021 or 2022 is more accurate. I think that the next gen consoles are going to come out in maybe two or three years is what I'm thinking. Like two or three years for next gen consoles. And that the new, obviously the new like Elder Scrolls game isn't going to come out until next gen consoles. And then any, if they do make a net, like a fifth Fallout game, it's not going to be out until next gen consoles. So. I would agree with that, Lush. I think they're going to be at least two years, probably three, is what I'm thinking for them. All right, let's go talk to Miss Pipery Pipers here. 
Nier Automata seems to be a game worth streaming. Horizon Zero Dawn Room and the best games that you've played in the last five years. I know that Ant and his brother were both playing um, Nier Automata, and then uh, Lush plays Horizon Zero Dawn sometimes. Is your 2017 game of the year? Horizon Zero Dawn, Star Wars Battlefront 2, and Lost Legacy. Romance Piper. You kind of, oh, I'm not a big fan of Piper. Like, I don't hate her as much as I hate Kate. But she just, like, grates on me after a while. I usually end up romancing everybody. Sure, let's go. Will do. So. Heads up. You holding up, Lou? Yeah, holding up. Look, I'm just gonna say it. You're a vault dweller. Is she finally gonna do this interview thing with me? Because she's just, like, not doing it. Is nuts not. with great games. My favorite console. Ooh, that's hard. story in uh, I don't know. My favorite, like, childhood console was probably definitely either my NES that I had or the, and my N64, like, long time ago. Um, but between, like, the newer, like, the newer consoles, I was an Xbox person and then, well, that's not true. I was a PlayStation person, PS1, PS2. I had a regular Xbox, and I had an Xbox 360. I never had a PS3, and then went from Xbox 360 to PS4. I don't know. It depends, because, like, there's some Xbox-exclusive games that I like. But we ended up getting the PlayStation anyway. Also, hello, Xbody Spray. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing well today. I appreciate you stopping by here. Yes. I'm over 200 years old. Oh I missed God. most of them. No one talks about Far Cry 5 anymore. I was playing Far Cry 5 on the channel for a little while, and then I stopped because everybody and their freaking mom was streaming it all at the same time. But I might start streaming it again. I don't know. I haven't decided. I uninstalled it from my computer, but I might reinstall it. It wouldn't be, like, a big deal. It gives me hope. At least you got Astrobot. Yeah, Astrobot was super cute. Xbox exclusives. Um... The f Fable, but just like the first one, I'm not as big on the other one, so that's not really like a big deal. I don't play Halo, but I know that's like one of their huge Xbox exclusive things, you know? They're not, there's not many like, there's not many games that I'm super big on that are exclusive to one console or another, but there are definitely games that I really like that are only available on console and aren't available on PC. Like, that new Tetris game that's coming out that me and Lucia are really excited about is only going to be available on console. It's not going to be available on PC, which makes me sad. It's going to take some time to put this all together, but I think... Halo 5 was kind of a flop. I only ever really played the first Halo, and I did not play it that much. Didn't play it that much. But that was really the only one that I played was really the first one, 100 years ago, whenever that was that it came out. What time is it? Oh, it's only 10. We still got some time. What do we want to do here? You know what? I think I want to look for a stash of chems in the General Atomics factory. Clear the training yard. Oh, let's go do that. Let's go do the training yard because then we can also get um, the quest for finding the lost patrol while we're there. It's plot... Oh, was it really bad? Killer Instinct. I have not heard of Killer Instinct. But I haven't heard of a lot of games. I was thinking, I was talking about this, like, maybe last stream. I tend to have, like, certain games that I really like that I just play over and over again instead of playing new games. <laughs> it's a bad, it's a bad habit that I have. PS4 is your fave. All your favorite games are being remade. Plus, it's amazing new IPs. Plus VR. You are just so obsessed with the VR, Lush. See, that's the thing, though, too, is, like, if I did save up and decided to get a VR, I don't know if I would get VR for, for PC or if I would get VR for PlayStation. I don't know which one I would end up going with. Because I could do it for either, you know? I would have a really hard time choosing. I am super pumped for Tetris Effect, though. I really hope that it's super crazy good. I love that it's going to be more music-oriented. I think it's going to be super neato. At least I hope it is. I've been 
waiting for a new Tetris game to come out for a while. It sucks that you live so far away, though, Luge, because, like, I really love... See, this is the thing I'm curious about with Tetris Effect, is my favorite, um, my favorite Tetris game is, um, the new Tetris, the one that came out on N64, um, and... I really hope that the new one is as fun as that one was. I don't know what it is about that specific one that was out for N64. It's just my favorite. I think I liked the soundtrack the best. And I just really, really, really liked that one. I've ever played Crisis. I have played uh, Time Crisis at like arcades and stuff. If that's the one you mean. Where usually they have a pink controller and a blue controller. For a gun, I guess, at an arcade, usually. And if I go to an arcade, Time Crisis is usually my, like, go-to thing that I end up wanting to play. I need to get some new games. I've been trying to, like, figure out what, what games I want to stream. Because I stream Fallout, like, every single time I freaking stream. Because I love it. I don't know. I don't know. You look like a ghoul. Let's shoot you. There you are. Okay. got to save up ammo for our our euro babe as i let loosh name it <laughs> can download drivers for ps vr to work on pc and play steam vr with its use oh so you can get like a thing that will let you use the playstation vr on your pc that's good to know well you know i'm not super with it with the VR stuff anyway though. So, I don't know. I just feel like it would make me really sick. I haven't decided. And I don't really know. I don't know anybody that has a VR that like I could go test it out, you know? Which sucks. I'm pretty sure none of my friends have a VR that like I could go over and play around with it. have new Tetris on PlayStation 1. I didn't know it came out on PlayStation 1. I have it for, like I said, I have it for N64. The one with the guy in the nano suit. No, I don't think I have then. Like the Terminator 3D shooting arcade. Yes. I used to play that one, and the other one I would play semi-frequently was like Time Crisis, the Terminator 1, and we would play the Jurassic Park one all the time, where you were in like it, like, enclosed you, so you were, like, in one of the Jeeps. That one was, like, hot shit back in the day. That's, like, all anybody wanted to play. VR chat. Yeah, the VR some of the VR chat rooms seem, like, super fun. Where you can get all the different, like, avatars and stuff. All you need for it is PS3 camera, which is, like, $1.99 at GameStop. I haven't been to GameStop in a hot minute. I've been trying to, like, not go in there. Come and get me, ghoulies. Don't go behind things. Piper... Piper, what are you doing, girl? What are you doing? I think Piper broke. Oh, Piper. Oh, look at her go. See you later. <laughs> Gotta love Bethesda glitches. Gotta love it. Oh, oh. Oh, she's so funny now. She's just floating around. Oh, there she is. Oh, she's back. Okay. There we go. She's back. She's back with us. She's joined the team again. No people that did try Steam VR with PS VR and they thought it <laughs> worked super well. Love to play some Universe Sandbox or the Forest. I, I keep meaning to like buy the Forest. 
because it seems like it's better now. Like, I remember when it first came out, everybody was super pumped about it, and then after a while, everybody was like, yeah, I'm less excited for this. But it seems like it's, like, kind of, kind of having a little bit of, like, a resurgence of people being into it. If I get it, if I get it for PC and you get it for PC, Brad, we should play it together. Because I know you can play it, like, multiplayer. My favorite Fallout faction. My favorite Fallout faction from Fallout 3? It's Brotherhood of Steel, definitely. I like the Brotherhood of Steel in Fallout 3 a lot more than in Fallout 4. But I also really like the Enclave because I really like President Eden. Even though he's supposed to be bad, he's just... I don't know, he's just... I just like him. I like President Eden, even though they're evil. <laughs> and four, and four I don't really have one. I feel like they're all kind of the same. You know, like there, there isn't really that much, not really that much changes when you finish Fallout 4. Even, like it doesn't really matter which faction you choose, it's just gonna change who one of your followers can be. So I don't really have a favorite one for four. I was a little disappointed. I wish that the Brotherhood in four was more was more like the Brotherhood in three. So I feel like the Brotherhood in four are just like, I don't know, extra shitty. And I think that that's because of, of Maxim because it's not Elder Lions anymore. And then I, I'm still pissed that they like killed Sarah off screen. I feel like that was really shit. Unless she's just not actually dead. I don't know. But that was pretty, like, crap that they did that. I wish they hadn't. I think it would have been a lot better to leave her in the in the game for a little bit longer. Hey, Batner, welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well today. Very much appreciate you stopping by. Always good to see ya. Kind of got bored of it, like all survival games, but it definitely got harder. Have a super cool ocean base. Ooh, an ocean base in the forest. Have you played Subnautica at all, Brad? Because that's another one that I've been thinking about getting. Is Subnautica. Favorite Fallout faction is the Enclave. I like the Enclave. Minutemen for life. The first time that I played through Fallout 4, uh, I sided with the Minutemen. The first time that I played through. First time I played through, I sided with the Minutemen. The second time that I played through, I sided with the Institute. Uh, I've sided with the Brotherhood once. And I've sided with the Railroad once. But usually I end up going with the Minutemen just because I don't care anymore. Do you know what I mean? Score from the companions in Skyrim. Yeah, what about him? Haven't played it at all. Skewer is actually in my favorite. Uh, the companions are my favorite faction in Skyrim. I always become a werewolf. And I also always marry Farkas. Farkas is my favorite person in Skyrim. My absolute favorite. I love him. Haven't played that. It's supposed to be really good, Brad. Like, if you, like, you're saying that you built, like, a deep sea base, like, an underwater base. Um, so I don't know if you've seen anything for it, but you might like Subnautica. It's a survival kind of thing, but it's set in the ocean. So you're like underwater friends all the time. I haven't played it myself. I have seen a, a lot of pe a lot of people play it, and most of the people that I've seen play it um, really enjoy it. There's a game that I really want to get, and I cut. Ooh, all right, the kneecapper missile launcher. Um, and I kind of want to play it on the channel, but I haven't actually gotten it yet because I thought that you could get it through Steam, but apparently you can't. Um, is a game called Raft or The Raft, something like that, where you're on a raft and there's like sharks in the water and all kinds of shit. And basically you have to use like a fishing rod kind of thing to, um, fish resources out of the water and try to like build up your raft and get all the like survival stuff you need from the water. Um before like your raft sinks and like gets eaten and whatever you know Did I un oh, damn it unlock door there we go my favorite yarl there's a bug in skyrim and skewer is alive and he's normal he's not oh that's kind of neat 
Um, my favorite Yarl is the one that I can never remember what the name of the town or the city is or whatever, but it's the city that has the burned out house that has the ghost girl. Um, whatever city that is, that Yarl is my favorite just because I love when you're doing the quest for them. Um, and they're asking you to like investigate Alva because people think that she's a vampire or whatever. And you do the quest and she, oh, spoiler, she's a vampire. Um, but you do the quest for the, the Jarl and whenever you go to tell the Jarl that she's a, that she's a vampire, uh, that Jarl goes, Alva, that treacherous bitch. And it makes me so happy. <laughs> so that Jarl is my favorite. My least favorite Jarl is the Jarl of Dawnstar. I fucking hate that guy. He is just the absolute worst. You like uh, Balgruff? He be ballin'. Have you? Do you ever watch um, Manslayer? He does like machinimas, and he has like a he has a song about Jarl Jarl Balgruff be ballin'. That's pretty good. kind of sad that Piper fixed her little fun walk that she was doing. I don't think I'd be mad if she stayed like that forever. Just floating. Floating around. Usually, whenever I see that glitch, it's Nick. It's usually Nick that gets that glitch whenever I've had it. And he, I've had him get that one, and I've had him get the one where he's just constantly in his swimming animation. That one's pretty funny. Let me see what's everybody talking about. Zombies drown if they go too deep in the water for too long. Oh, the raft looked fun. Didn't it look fun, Brad? I thought that, that looked like a fun game. And definitely pretty different from a lot of the other games that I play. I don't know. There was just something about that one that just looked super interesting to me. And I felt like I, I thought that you could get it off of Steam, but I don't think that you can. I think that you have to get it from the developer's website, maybe? I don't know. I need to look into it um more and get a little bit more information on it i did check it out like one you know just like one time for a for a minute so i didn't really i didn't really find out that much about it where is this whatever i don't know i thought that it looked i thought that it looked fun i thought that it was very different from like a lot of the standard survivally kind of games, you know? There he is. That was a little overkill, but whatever. Skald is a son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, Ingrid, that's her name. Do you get to the cloud district very often? Not zombies, cannibals. They're not zombies, they're zombies. They're those off-brand zombies. That always, like, bugged me how in newer games, like, when, when guys are clearly zombies and they don't want to call them zombies, they give them other, other names, you know, like undead or if it's walking dead, oh, they're walkers or whatever. Like, just call them fucking zombies. They're zombies. Everybody knows. What was everybody talking about? Downloaded the Cosmos and Vaughn. I keep forgetting, Batner! This I told you, if you're on the Discord, um, you can leave a message for me on there because I keep forgetting to download it. To be totally honest, I like 100% just keep forgetting to check it out, unfortunately. I think I need to add a section on the Discord where people can just leave me mods that they want to see people check out. Because there's a few people, Bad Nerd, like you you suggest mods and then I have a couple other people that will come in and suggest mods that they're, that they're interested in seeing, you know? Eh. See what it cost on G2A. <laughs> Lucia's says poop. <laughs> I have played Dying Light before, but I have not played it recently. I played it kind of probably right around when it first came out. 
Favorite follower in Skyrim? I don't have one. That would nerd. I never take a follower with me, ever. I never, 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 never have a follower in Skyrim, except when you are required to have a follower in Skyrim. That's the only time that I have one. When they make you have one. Uh, Raft. Oh, it is on Steam. Oh, I didn't think it was on Steam. Maybe that's like a more recent thing that they've added it to Steam, because I'll totally get it. You like Serana and Vladimir, Vladimir. Favorite mod for Fallout 4? My favorite Fallout 4 mod is actually the weather mod that I'm using right now. Um, I have never had a weather mod that is this nice. And I've never had a weather mod that I have been this happy with. I love that it adds tons and tons and tons of different weathers. You can change the, the water appearance with it. Um you can choose if you want it to just be all one type of weather all the time you can do all kinds of shit with it they it adds like 90 different weather cycles something like that there's snow it has a silent hill mode that makes everything just like super foggy and whatever i really 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 like the the weather mod and i'm super fond of a couple of the um the weapon mods that i have right now too i really like the uh this widow maker shotgun this widow shotgun i really like it it has super crazy awesome detail on it uh and i really like this one that i have this one that we renamed the euro babe is an assault rifle and then i also have a crossbow mod as well that's pretty nifty but those are the those are most of them thought they were poops be what are you talking about fave follow up fave skyrim follower was the dog i really like uh barbus i guess whenever you have to have barbus with you it doesn't really bother me at all because barbus is freaking awesome and i would really like to have miko with me because i really like miko and i feel bad for miko because he's just like alone in the woods but he can die and i don't want the little puppy dog to die barbus can't die <laughs> So I never worry about having Barbus with me because he can't die. <laughs> there we go. You always have a follower? I never, ever, ever have a follower in Skyrim. Never, ever, ever. Maybe if you were able to control them a little bit more like you can in Fallout 4, I would consider having one. But most of the time if I ever have a follower in Skyrim, they either die or are just in my way the entire damn time that I'm trying to play. So I just don't take one with me. I just don't take one with me. I would rather make the extra trips back and forth to my house than have a follower in Skyrim. How do I feel? I'm fine. I'm tired. I'm tired and old. I thought about installing Fallout 4 again, but you don't know when to delete in its place. Really need to install this extra HD... Well, you know what? I've noticed, um, I have the, uh, I have the, the SSD drive and then the two terabyte hard drive. And I'm really happy that I, that I went with that, like that for the computer because it's, it's so nice, um, that I have all the extra, that I have all the extra space. You know what I mean? And then usually what I do is I just put on the SSD drive, like something that's going to be like, I don't know that needs to be faster or something like that and all of my other games are just on the um are just on the terror the other hard drive sorry bud all right so i lucked out with that one for sure miko died on me he ran into a cave and goes i know poor little miko it's so sad can just blame yourself because you got bored and we're making super battles against Minutemen and random enemies with console commands. Oh, so you would just have a bunch of stuff. Until you follow four because it kept crashing on you and random uber rage quit. I have definitely had that happen before. That's my good friend. I've been, well, I, I know that you've been here when I've said this before on streams, but I have been so much more selective with what mods I've been installing and only really installing mods, um, only really installing mods that I'm really enjoying. If I'm not liking stuff, I'm removing it because I had that same kind of problem where I just had too much stuff and it was just like a pain in the ass. Downloaded Cheat Terminal and Fallout 4 because you don't like console commands and you changed Piper's appearance. Ooh, fancy, fancy. 
The Ramon is a mod that replaces various sounds with sounds from iDubbbz videos. Oh, That's freaking great. Yeah. Not I time. love iDubs. I want him to do another content cop so bad. So bad. I don't know who he's gonna do it on next though. I have no idea. I cleared the training. No idea who he would do one on next. What's the name of the mod I'm using to change the map style? Uh let me bring up my um my mod thingy and I'll see if it's in there or not. Because I can't remember because some of them don't show up there. You have a 400 SSD and a 400 hard drive, and then the extra drive is one terabyte. That's still good. My SSD is not a 400. I think mine's only a 250, maybe a 300. I don't remember. It's in the description of the video. Uh, Just maybe go, some other time. Take, time. take your time. Shut up, Deb. All right. Let me see here. Let me bring up my mods, my moddy mods. I'll see if it's on there. I can't remember. Uh, friendly room, gingerbread water, gingerbread blah blah blah, better beds, enhanced blood, that's the different pit boy light, CBBE is the body that I have, it's the widow shotgun, uh, I don't think it's in there, I could definitely yeah. link you to it. Um, but I would have to link you to it in the Discord, probably, unfortunately. Because I know that I have it on my Nexus, like on my mod manager. But some of them are you just install, like, into the actual file so they don't show up in that little mod thing that you have there. Have four terabyte external as one terabyte isn't enough. This oh, on your PlayStation. Yeah, it is from the Nexus. It is from the Nexus. Um, it is one of those ones where you had to manually install some stuff, though. I had to play around with it for a while to get it to work properly. That was one that I that I had to play around with for a little while just to, to get it to work the way that it's supposed to. Which is fine. Not the end of the world. Love being sarcastic. Oh, being sarcastic in Fallout is so much fun. You know what? That's the thing, though, about Fallout 4 that I wish was a little bit more like Fallout 3 and like New Vegas is I just feel like they make it impossible for you to actually be a bad guy in this game. And I, I really wish that when you were being sarcastic and you were being a dick that it had more of an effect on the game. Because it just doesn't, you know? Like it just... It just doesn't have the effect that I wish it did. They don't really let you actually be a bad guy. You can be sarcastic and you can you can do that kind of stuff, but it doesn't really change your options at all. Like you'll be you'll be super super terrible to people and they'll just be like, "Yeah, so anyway, here's the quest that I want you to do." Like they don't tell you no. It doesn't give you some kind of different option for being bad. So that it, it gives you, like, the illusion that you have a choice when you really don't, you know? And I wish that they actually gave you more of an option than they do. And I, I noticed that even, like, the first time that I was playing Fallout 4. And I would be sarcastic to somebody. And just kind of be rude to somebody. And they didn't really seem to care. Like, it didn't really change anything. So that was kind of, like... You know but I do like the game people like to shit on it all the time and it's it's not that bad like it's it's not this terrible horrible piece of crap like people try to say it is is it the best game I've ever played absolutely not but it's not that bad you know Has it bad nerd? That's pretty cool. Sanctuary Settlement probably broke the game because it had the maximum number of items you could build in the settlement. Oh, Brad, I don't know if you know this, but so there's a thing that you can do here. Let me, um, let me get like, may I have like a gun in here or something I don't need? All right. So that like blade is higher iron, this board. I don't need that. I can show you. You probably know about this already, but if you don't, so if you bring up your like settlement thingy, and like mine like the size isn't that high so it might be like harder to see it um but what you can do is if you take things from your inventory 
and just drop them on the floor. Are those the only two things I picked up? I think they are. So drop them on the floor and then open your thing back up again and then delete them. It will actually lessen um, the size of your settlement for some reason. I don't know why, but it does. But you can also get all kinds of mods that will let you have unlimited amounts of settlement stuff if you want. But I didn't know that that dropping thing, uh, dropping stuff was a thing until semi-recently. There was one settlement mod I got that actually broke my game and I was super pissed about it. And it was my own fault. I should have read more about it whenever I had first um, was looking at it on the Nexus. But um, there's, a, there's a certain mod that you can get that allows you to build like pre-war houses and a couple other things and if you install it on your file and then uninstall it it will like literally break your game like break it and you won't be able to play it anymore it will ruin your save files if you uninstall it and i didn't know that and i was not very happy about it <laughs> so you're gonna say fallout 4 is your first fallout you absolutely love it see i really like it like it's not my favorite fallout 3 is still my favorite but it's really not that bad you know which voice actor I prefer? I actually prefer the male voice actor to the female voice actor for the for Soul. Um, I like Nate better than Nora. I think that the guy just does a slightly better job. Like, especially when you're first starting and you're opening up the, like, um, the cryopod and, like, your whichever spouse you choose is dead. Like, I feel like the guy just sounds genuinely way more concerned and the lady's just like, oh no, they're dead. I don't know. I don't feel like she sounds as concerned as she should be sounding about her spouse being dead. Maybe that's just me. But I I do prefer the, um, the male voice actor to the lady. The lady isn't bad. I mean, I'm playing as the lady right now, but... The other reason that I end up playing as a lady most of the time is because it is super hard to find uh, guy armor on the Nexus. Um, pretty much any time that I go onto the Nexus and try to find um, like male armors, there aren't any. It's pretty much all bikini babes, which I'm not that bad about because I dress up my lady as a bikini babe, and if I want to have sloots in my game, I'm gonna have sloots in my game. And if you don't want to have sloots in your game, then you don't need to, but I like it. <laughs> but I do. I do usually play as the as the guy most of the time. I wish that they had more armors available for the guys. There are yes. certain people in the Nexus, um, like Eleonora, if you guys do like download mods at all, there's a, a modder named Eleonora, who I really, really, really like. She makes really beautiful house mods, and she makes armor mods as well. Um, she has a few different things on the, on the Nexus that are, like, a mod, modded clothing store, pretty much, where she takes a lot of the, like, already there assets, and then will combine certain outfits so that they are turned into different outfits, so she has a lot of guy stuff available on hers, but a lot of other people don't. She actually makes Creation Club stuff, too. Which I was, like, super excited that she was going to be making Creation Club stuff. And I have not purchased one thing from the Creation Club. And I will never purchase anything from the Creation Club because I think it's stupid. But I was hoping that her Creation Club stuff was going to be better than it is. It's not bad. But um, they really, like, for sure really, really, really stifled her with what she was allowed to do. And I feel like if she would have been allowed to do her mods for the Creation Club the way that she does her regular mods on her own, her stuff would have been so much better. But they, they just, like, really limited um, what they were allowed to do. At least I feel like they did because her stuff is so detail-oriented. And whenever she makes her house mods and stuff, there's so much clutter all over the place and they're just so great. And her stuff in the Creation Club just isn't like that. And I think they did. I, I really feel like they limited what she was allowed to do, unfortunately. Because she's really talented at modding. Like, she's so good at it. And I feel like she just got, like, fucked over. Oh, well. What's everybody talking about? When Fallout 76... You know what, Bad Nerd? I don't even know if I'm getting Fallout 76 anymore. 
Um, like I said a little while ago that I watch uh, MXR all the time, and he put out a video about what he's thinking about 76 right now, and I saw the footage that he used in his video. He wasn't invited to the, like, Play 76 early party. Um, like, they had invited a lot of other, like, mod reviewers and other people there, and he wasn't invited, but... Um, it just doesn't look like it's something that I'm going to be interested in, to be totally honest. And that really sucks, because I know that there's not going to be anything else coming out probably until next-gen consoles come out. So, at this point, I'm definitely 100% not buying it at launch, and I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait, and I'm going to see what, uh, what people have to say about it, because I was not that impressed with all the footage that I saw, unfortunately. Hey, let's role play. Welcome to the stream. Always good to see you. I hope you're doing well today. Appreciate you stopping by as always. Haven't seen you in a hot minute, but always good to see you here. I'm doing all right. You like use some, some titty mod? Who doesn't? I have a CBBE body on. She's not uh, modded with, uh, she's not modded with the body slide at all, but she's, she's a little curvy. She's a little extra curvy. <laughs> You love some sloots, right? You can't, like, I understand people are like, oh, blah, 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 blah. If you want to play your game and have your chick be some, like, super ridiculous big-titted anime girl, like, freaking go for it. I don't give a shit. Like, you can do whatever you want to your game. I get the CBBE body. I'm not going to say I don't, you know? It makes it more, like, it gives her so she doesn't have a pancake butt. Like, it makes her cute. I want her to be cute. And if I have to I get a body mod nice. to make her look cute, then I'm gonna get one. Oh, I guess we have to go upstairs. I thought we had high enough lockpick to pick that, but uh, we don't. There's a, like, back thingy. Oh, a bathroom. Is that in here? Maybe it's on the third floor in, like, all right, Piper, you do your thing. I don't remember. Love how Autocrack is trying to make you look like a good Christian boy, right? <laughs> What isn't Bethesda do a remake of Fallout 3? You know what, Bad Nerd? Fallout 3 is my favorite Fallout, and I would love for them to do a Fallout 3 re remaster, but I just don't think that they want to put the money into it when they are going to be making 76 and are going to be able to make a lot more money off of that, and maybe they just don't care enough to make one. I would love for them to make one. It really is. It's my favorite. Get out of here. You're in my way. It's my favorite Fallout, so I would love to see a Fallout 3 in a Fallout 4 engine. I think it would be pretty great. What is anybody talking about? Oh, you missed me. I missed you too. Just wait and see what people say. Yeah, this is, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait and see what people say about it. I have to go now because you have math test tomorrow and you hate your teacher. She's crazy. All right. Have a great night, Bad Nerd. I see Rogue's going to be heading out too. Have a good night as well, Rogue. Very much appreciate you guys stopping by. I hope that you had a good time while you're here. Always nice to see ya. And I hope we see you guys again sometime soon. But I do always appreciate you guys stopping by. I'm not hiding. I'm right here. You're hiding because you're not here. Where are you? I would like to kill you, please. You're probably going to be over here sometime. You guys coming over? We having a party? Where are you? Hello? Come on, girl. I'm right here. See, aren't you happy you came out to play with me now? I can carry something if you need me to. Piper, fuck off. I don't need you to carry anything. Shut up. Play Tetris 2 on your phone. <laughs> I had a Tetris app on my phone for a while, and it just, like, killed my battery, and I was like, mm, no, I'm done with this. Should be all decrepit and skinny in Fallout, though, because wasteland radiation eating trash. I mean... More wise, yeah, they probably should. I mean, my girl, my girl is skinny. She's just got some boobies on her. She's just got some little boobies on her. Nothing crazy. There's some, there's some body slide presets that are, uh, uh, those girls are thick <laughs> with like nine C's. <laughs> Why are these down here? That's whatever. Whatever, Pikmin. I'm not going to judge you in your life. It's too realistic. It's called Puzzle Block. You're awful at Tetris. I'm not that bad at it. Pikmin. Everybody will be streaming 76 anyway and get buried in that seat. I mean, I like I said, I'm not, um, I'm 100% not getting it at launch. I've decided. Um, not happening. 
Um, and I am, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait, try to see uh, as many like videos of it as I can of other people playing it. Everything that I've seen is just like, <sighs> it doesn't seem to have interiors, which seems really weird. Like any of the footage that I've seen of it has only been outside. And I just thought that that was really odd. Um, and it seems like, even though they said that obviously you can play it by yourself, pretty much all the footage that I've seen of it looks like it's so, so, so highly suggested to be playing it um, with other people. And I'm not one for multiplayer. You guys know that. I'm not, I'm not one for multiplayer. And I would really prefer to play it on my own. And they said that they are, you know, you can play it by yourself, blah, blah, blah. They are going to have private servers, blah, blah, blah. But those aren't going to be available until the game's been out for a little while anyway. So I just don't feel like there is a big need for me to get it right at launch when I'm not going to be able to play it the way that I want to play it right at launch anyway, you know? Female soul looks good, but the guy has a thick ass. He does. Male soul has a big butt. He's got a big butt. Dangerous curves can and will exist in the wasteland. <laughs> Want to fall out three remaster with the VR mode? That would be pretty crazy. Nothing could be better than rad corn fed women. <laughs> That's why I love you guys. I feel like if I was in the fallout, I would still, I would still be like, yeah, sugar bombs and candy. I would probably still be fat. <laughs> I would find a way. I would find a way to still be fat. Eating everybody else's candies. Stealing candy from kids. Like, you don't need that. It's for me, I need it more than you. It's like punching children. Choop, choop, choop. Oh, I should probably use a different gun. Since I'm just using a, a little a little 10 millimeter pistol. Load the damn gun, you stupid. You stupid lady. I'm super fond of a 10 millimeter. I don't know. I don't know if you guys like it, but I use one all the time. I did the same thing in Fallout 3, too. I just use a 10 millimeter all the time. It's like all I take with me. And then whenever I was playing New Vegas, I just like use the 9 millimeter all the time. Oh, Loosh. Me and Loosh get into fights about this. So I would. I would, I would find the food. If somebody was going to find the food, it would be me. <laughs> I finally got you, Pikmin. Baby, baby, baby. Now you can hunt, torture our people to your heart's content. Yep. I'm gonna enjoy killing you. Achoo! Achoo! I love this gun. Oh no, their head fell off. The cats are arguing. I don't know if my microphone picked that up, but X. Strider and Jazargo are yelling at each other. Because Strider... Jazargo is, like, laying down in the spot where Strider likes to lay down. Alright. Mr. Pikmin. Excuse me. He's so cute. I don't even care that he's a murderer. How close. Thank you. Uh-huh. people deserve worse than I agree. I'm not gonna kill you. They were cold-blooded killers. They got their pound of flesh. But I'll collect my own again soon. I owe you. Uh, you don't owe me anything. I would have done it either way. That's all the more reason to reward you. Oh, thanks, if you bud. Visit my house He's again, so sweet. Look deep within my painting, Picnic for Stanley, and you will find my gratitude. Sounds like a plan. Thanks, bud. All right, I want to get that magazine Thanks. off the ground. All right, onward to get Pikmin's gift. 
I wonder what it is. Surely it won't be Pikmin's blade. That would be too easy. My only downside with my mods is shit takes so long to load. Then you guys just have to like look at me sitting here, not doing anything. Is that still fun? I don't know. It's like the IRL streamers on the Twitch. <laughs> Watch me eat spaghetti. It's weird. I don't like it. Ooh, or it froze. We'll never know. It's my, um, my weather mod. There we go. I know it is, because if I take it out, it doesn't happen, but I like it too much. And I'm not going to take it out. I always forget how to get to Pikmin's Gallery from here. I'll just fast travel. It's faster. Hey, madam, welcome to the stream. Always good to see you. I hope you're doing well today. Appreciate you stopping by as always. You're at work just saying hi. Well, I hope that work finishes up fast for you here. Let me see. It is like 7.30 for you. So you should be done kind of soon. I'm going to guess you're closing since you're there that late. So that's no good. But I hope you're done soon and that you don't get stuck later than you need to. And Petey, Petey's still here to say hi to Madam. Hooray! Everybody misses you, Pete. Everybody misses you on the Discord. Everybody misses you being in streams. They people ask me, they're like, where is Curly? I'm like, he's busy. He's a busy young man. Last day of lessons, lots of kids in life jackets going off the diving board. <laughs> is it the last day of lessons because they're going to be um, moving you guys to the different pools while they're working on fixing yours? I haven't gone swimming in so long. But it is, Pete. Everybody misses you. And I know you're busy, but they don't know you're busy. All right, we got our present from Mr. Pikmin. Maybe we should, like, bum around down here for a minute or two. Oh, you know what? We're kind of near the, the, um, we're near the boat. The Constitution or whatever it is. I might as well go over and talk to Ironsides and the other robots. And we can pick up that quest. It's one of my favorites, anyway. We'll have uh, the robot yell at us. Oh, you feel bad? Don't feel bad, Petey! No, don't feel bad. I'm just letting you know everybody Everybody cares about where you've been. Don't feel bad about it. Everybody knows you're, you're doing school and working and stuff. But no, everybody asks about you. So now I'm in the end. Done soon, fortunately. Hooray! Glad you're done soon, but I know you're not, I know you're not too thrilled about having to go to a different pool to work at. Hopefully they'll have all that construction done for you as soon as as soon as possible and you'll be able to just get back to where you like being. I had that happen once when I used to work at Denny's. The one that I worked at um, had like a, it caught on fire. I wasn't working there the, the day that it happened, but it caught on fire and I didn't take them up on it because they, it was only gonna be closed for like a week while they were fixing shit. Um, but they offered to let us go work at other ones for that week, like, while they were fixing it. And the couple of the ones that they offered that we could go work at were just so far away. And I was like, no, I'm not going to drive an hour out of my way for this. Like, that's stupid. Oh, a death claw. Hi, buddy. Oh, I missed. I missed because I suck. Yeah, reload your gun. Oh, I died. <laughs> I'm not even surprised. Let's see when the last time I saved was. A while ago. 
Gonna go get a shower and finish your shift. Sounds like plan. Madam, have a wonderful rest of your day at work, and I hope you're done sooner than later. Always, always life stuff first. Hey, Aboon, welcome to the stream, dude. Good to see you. I hope you're doing well today. You are either up really early <coughs> or you've stayed up really late. One of those two things I'm thinking. One of those two things. Do scarcity mod makes the game almost full melee. I don't know that I've ever seen that one. All right, so I just gotta go back to the boat. We didn't lose that much because I'm a crazy oversaver, as you guys know. We'll just pop back over there real quick. Hello, Untitled Nerd Network. We're welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well today. Appreciate you stopping by and saying hello here. I am having a pretty good night, thank you. I hope that you're having a good night, too. Enjoy. Oh, you guys are bad. <laughs> You're up for- oh, you're up for school! So you are up really early. That's no good. Our time difference is crazy, dude. So it's like what? Is it like six in the morning for you? Or is it not that- is it- is it like earlier than that? Is it like five? I haven't gotten up that early in so long. And I was thinking about that the other day, because a lot of the people that like to come and hang out in the streams are in college or in- are in high school still. And... I don't know how I got up that early to go to school, like to go to high school. I don't even know how I did it. Cause if I had to do that now, if somebody told me now, oh, you have to get up every day at 5.30, I would be like, hmm, no, no thank you. Not happening. I don't know how I function getting up that early for high school. I don't know how I did. Cause I would stay up till three or four in the morning and then get up at six for school. Survivor mode, it's almost just scavenging for food. I had a couple people ask me if I was gonna play on survival mode ever. And I just don't know if I want to. I don't know if I would enjoy it. Like, I don't know if I would actually enjoy the extra challenge of it. Oh, so I got this mod. I'll be able to show you guys. There's some rad stags here. And look, it makes the rad stags non-hostile and now they're our friends. Look at they're so cute. Hello, little cutie. I get the dumbest mods. <laughs> that, my sweet roll mod. I got a mod. Um, I'm sure you guys have run into if you've played before. Um, the, uh the raider that's like burying their friend and if you come near them they like automatically go hostile towards you and attack you even though they're just trying to bury your, their friend and, and you're not doing anything to them i got a mod that makes it so that that guy doesn't go hostile to you or lady whoever it is so that you can like let them bury your friend and you don't have to kill them <laughs> so it makes me feel bad hello what's, what's going on is that from over here? No, that was probably those guys. Yep. Yeah, that was them. Have to get to school before 6.45. That's so early. That's too early. 6.45. I would just not go to school if <laughs> I had to get up that early now. I've been I've been too spoiled with um having a job where I don't have to get up unbelievably early. But I just wouldn't be able to do it. Cause even if I work a morning shift at work, like I don't have to get up super crazy early. Unless it's a Sunday. If it's a Sunday, it sucks sucks big ween and have to get up crazy early for that especially if I open we have to be there early you get out at 12 30 or well like oh you get out really early so that's nice I feel like everybody's school is so different than than when I was in school like the times that people go in and how long they're there for and how their classes are set up and all that shit. Ow, 
we? I wonder why I didn't get like any alert about having in boathouse getting attacked. Alright. I never got a thing for it, but we saved them, I guess. And all my shit's probably freaking broken. Oops. Actually, that doesn't matter, because I have that thing turned off anyway. One's broken? No. Alrighty then. Surprising. That's when you wake up for your morning shifts. Ew, gross. You're gonna install it again? Good deal. I just like, I just don't get tired of playing it. I get tired of doing the main storyline because I don't find it super interesting, but I don't really ever get tired of just wandering around or doing like side quests. I think that that's a lot of the fun is just wandering around and, and doing all the side quests and that kind of thing, you know? <laughs> oh, I think we might be kind of near where the town is that has you do the, the goat test from three. I can't think of the name of it right now. Yeah, that's it right there. That's it, right there. It's just all about surviving. I might try out survival mode sometime and maybe do like a, like a one-off stream or maybe start a series of it, something like that. Covenant, that's what it is. I haven't decided. But I've had, I've had a couple of people ask me if I'm gonna play Fallout 4 on survival and I've had a couple of people ask me if I'm gonna play um, Skyrim on survival ever. Um, but I think that if I was going to do Skyrim, there's a mod called Frostfall, I think is what it's called. That's a version of survival that came out before the Creation Club released theirs that is supposedly better than the Creation Club version. So if I was going to do it on Skyrim, I would probably end up downloading that mod and then most likely I would start a new character, I think. Hey, Ravenwind is here. Oh, welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well today. Appreciate you stopping by as always. Building the water purifier and stuff. Uh, that's just Tavington there. It is. Ah, uh, it's 10 to 11. I might play longer tonight than I normally do when I stream because I don't have anything else going on. I'm off tomorrow. Joe's gonna be stuck late at work anyway. So, might as well. That's the only way you play. I might, t I might try it out. Like I said, I have had a, a pretty fair number of people ask me to play it that way. Maybe we should go down to Jamaica Plain and get the treasures of Jamaica Plain. I don't know. Or maybe we should set a random... Oh, you know what? We should go back to Sanctuary and drop our stuff off. Because we definitely have too much stuff on us right now. Like how there is the female ghoul that wants to fuck you in Fallout 4, but you have to play the dead wife card, but when it comes to Magnolia, the survivor is just like, I'm just gonna take this ring off. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of stuff like that that ends up not making sense in these games. Um, like I was playing, um, I was playing Fallout 3 the other day, maybe the last time that I streamed, I can't remember, and I was just wandering around in Megaton, and if you go into the, the bar, right, there's Nova that's in there that's basically a hooker, and there was a girl just sitting next to Nova, and I wasn't, like, I wasn't doing anything, I was just standing there, and this, uh, this chick that was standing next to Nova was, like, 
hey, it's not that kind of bar. And I was like, but it is, though, because you're right next to Nova, and she'll let me sleep with her for money. So it is that kind of bar. I don't know why they had that NPC's dialogue even say that, because it doesn't make any sense. But whatevs. Thank you, note. All right. Otherwise, money and food is pointless. It adds another dimension. Am I getting Red Dead 2? I'm planning on it. I'm very much planning on getting Red Dead 2. I haven't decided if I'm going to stream Red Dead 2 or if I'm going to do Red Dead 2 as a series. Um, I'm thinking that... I may end up streaming Red Dead 2, but I might wait and stream Red Dead 2, like, after it's been out for a little bit. Uh, I might, like, play it a little bit on my own and then stream it after it's been out for a little while. Uh, just because from when Far Cry 5 came out, everybody that got it at launch, everybody was trying to stream it all at the same time, and it was really hard to get people into the streams. Um, just because everybody's, like, favorite people were all playing it. So, um, I don't, like, I'm not mad about it, but I made the streams not as fun because there weren't, uh, there weren't as many people that were coming to hang out. So, it, it just made it, it made it a lot harder to get any kind of audience just because everybody was playing it. So, I know that that's probably going to be what happens with Red Dead 2 also right when it first comes out. So, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do about Red Dead 2 whenever it comes out. Uh, both, Piper, for you, if you don't shut your mouth. We're here to talk to my favorite follower. Hmm. I need to have a posse, right? I don't know. I don't know what I, I don't know what I want to do with it. And I don't know Your lady friend there. She's the dame who writes public occurrences, right? Uh What's yeah. Fun? I always appreciated Hancock, Hancock and how cute he is. Oh, look, there he is, being adorable. How's my little scout doing? Everybody is going to be on it. You're playing Red Dead 1 right now. I thought about replaying Red Dead 1, um, because just as, like, a, I never finished it. I know what happens in it, but I never actually finished it. Moriarty Saloon is an extremely Christian, family-friendly bar with a ghoul slave as the barkeep. Exactly, right? It's it's family-friendly Felix. Oh, God. It was awful. It's the most wholesome bar I've ever been, been to. Gob is one of my favorite NPCs in Fallout 3, though. I love him. Art. It's one of your faves. This is it. I have never, I've never actually finished it. I know how it ends, but I've never actually finished it. But I thought about replaying it, but I don't know that you necessarily need to because Red Dead 2 is a prequel so I don't know how important it would be to actually finish it I don't know but like I said I know what happens at the end of it so you know yeah I never finished it I know travesty I am notorious for never finishing games it happens a lot because usually what ends up happening is I'll play a game for a couple of hours and then maybe put it down and stop playing it for a little while. And then whenever I go back to start playing it again, I don't remember what any of the buttons are. And instead of just screwing around with it for a little while and trying to remember whatever about it, uh, I'll just start over. So I end up just playing um, the same games over and over and over and over a lot. Because I just, like, I don't know, never finish them. <laughs> Okay, what do we want to do? I don't think I want to start anything like super crazy long. We have two things we need to do at Hallucinogen. Explore the combat zone. Search for the toy parts. Eh. Listen to the caravan distress signal. Kill the raiders of Dun. I don't really want to go to Dunwich. Follow the freedom trail. Trouble Nakano residence. Uh, oh, Trouble Bruin. We can do that one. This one's not. This one isn't a very long one. And we are already in good neighbors, so we're already uh, close to where we need to be for this one anyway. Don't ask questions. That Just the experience. You loved it, right? Mod for the Pit Boy. The one that changes the map. 
Um, I had somebody in Let's Roleplay asking me earlier um, what that mod was, and I went through my mod list. It's not in there, so I'm going to have to actually go into my Nexus and get the link. So if you guys want the link for it, I just need you to be in the Discord, and I can post the link to it for the in the Nexus there if you guys want to get it. Put on New Vegas. So I like three the best. Um, I'm 29, so I was around, like, when 3 first came out and all that jazz, and I really like 3, because it's my favorite. So, from liking 3 so much, and then when New Vegas was coming out, I was super excited about New Vegas, because it was a new Fallout game, and I was just, like, super, super, super pumped about it, and just super excited to have a new Fallout game coming out and everything. Um, but... When New Vegas came out, originally, I hated it. Um, I wanted New Vegas to be exactly like Fallout 3, but just be in a different location. Uh, I wanted it to be a different game than what it is, and was really disappointed in it when it first came out. Um, I went to a midnight release for it. I was super, super pumped about it. I went there with my friends, you know, blah, 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 that whole thing. And came home, you know, immediately started playing it and absolutely hated it. Um, I played it for maybe like a week and then just literally stopped playing it and did not touch it ever again. Until, like, earlier this year, I was actually streaming New Vegas. Um, I was, like, replaying New Vegas and trying to not hate it and was actually in enjoying it a lot more than I did when it originally came out. Um, but unfortunately, my computer decided that it does not like Fallout New Vegas, and now every time that I try to stream it, um, or just play it on my own because I've been trying to fix it, um, the game just crashes and I'm not able to play it anymore. So I was streaming it on the channel, I was having a pretty decent time with it, I was not absolutely abhorrently hating it like I did the first time that I played it, um... But I personally don't think that it's as good as 3. I don't think that the story is as good. The the, the gun stuff is so much better. Like, the, the aiming and all that kind of stuff is so much better. And I would never argue that it, it, that it's, that it isn't better than in 3. Because it is. It's a lot better than in 3. But I'm just not... I don't know. I just was never really overly thrilled with the story itself. Um, and I was never really overly enthused about like some of the voice acting in it I don't know I felt like um <laughs> I was really excited about uh Matthew Perry being in it because like he's 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 good like he's a good voice actor like he's a good actor he's not terrible or anything and I feel like Benny was just terrible like he had like no emotion for anything and was just like lame and it definitely was not as good as, like, I thought he would be. I don't know. So, it's not my favorite game. I don't absolutely hate it like I did when it originally came out. But if I'm given the option to play 3 or to play New Vegas, I will pick 3 every single time. Every single time I will pick 3 over New Vegas. That being said, I didn't finish New Vegas because I didn't like it. And then when I was liking it, uh, it broke. <laughs> it broke. Uh, it's two mods for Pip-Boy, most likely. Oh, yeah, the map is one, and then the skin on the Pip-Boy is another one. Um, there's two. I have two on there. The skin that I use for it is actually one of the... Um, or no, the skin on my Pip-Boy is the first mod I ever downloaded for Fallout 4. And I still use it because I think it is an unbelievably fantastic Pip-Boy skin. I really like the Pip-Boy to look disgusting and corroded and broken and nasty. Because um, they wouldn't, like, be nice. Like, they wouldn't be nice looking. So, it doesn't make any sense to me when there's, like, super, like, chromey ones and whatever. I don't know. I just feel like they would be shitty. So, I really like that this one makes them look makes it just look unbelievably corroded and gross you know uh new vegas is great but it got too heavy on you and you had to quit you were too emotionally invested oh heard that it says damn casdors they ruined the game 
like it better because it introduced survival stuff, but you know you're hooked on that. Heard that. Favorite line from New Vegas was, you're one of those special folks, aren't you? You know what it is? I think that if we're gonna dance, there's, dance. there's people that are, like, me and really like free, and I think there's people that really like New Vegas better. I think there's a pretty, like, there's a split, right? At least what I've noticed, and this might not necessarily be true, but... Also, welcome back, Noble. Um, most of the people that I'm friends with, if they played three first, they like three more. If they played New Vegas first, they like New Vegas more. So I don't know if that has anything to do with it or not, but that's just what, I, what I've noticed with it. I've also noticed that a lot of the people that like New Vegas better and that that was their first one that they played um, are are younger than me. So I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Like if it's just like they, they played that one originally so they liked that one better because it was the first one that they played and then they played three after and the shooting mechanics weren't as good and blah 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 all that kind of shit but i feel like there's de like a definite split but if you like one better than the other i don't think it's a big deal you know uh two mods for the map alone one that makes a screen color as opposed to the black and white and one that puts things like power armors oh no that's all together in one thing riverwind that's all together in one thing um this being the different colors and then these screens being black and white are all just one mod together um they didn't have like it didn't have separate installs or anything that's just one mod and then the skin on the pit boy to make it look gross is the is the other mod that i have for it um the author of the mod may have done two different mods for it but it was just one install played your played new vegas first and liked it better you think yeah see that i think that that makes sense let's roleplay hey so good terrible welcome to the stream sir hope you're doing well today very much appreciate you stopping by as always hope you're doing well we've just been hanging out in the wasteland doing some stuff killing some people you know hey. the usual nothing too crazy i think this brew buddy is probably going to be the last quest tonight oh, though because my phone ringing was joe okay. so he's done with work finally I don't know. What the hell was that? Probably not me killing you. Choo choo. Don't throw grenades at me. Oh, you bitch. What a bitch. Freaking grenades. Hey, Fancy. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well today. Appreciate you stopping by. Always nice to see ya. Hope you're feeling pretty good and doing good and all that goodness. But good to see you. I do hope that you're doing well today. Let's try not to die this time. But no promises. Well, she died. Her head fell off. Just got ambushed all over the place. Hey, who's there? You're mine now, rookie. Nope. Can you, like, heal yourself like I asked, please? God damn it. Then they finally combined the map mod. You're still rocking two different mods for the map from the last time you wanted to get gotcha yeah like i said this this mod author they were um it was together um which was really nice for me but uh this one um i shot you in the face um this one i did have to do some manual install with it it wasn't just a direct install through the nexus you did have to import some files for it and i'm not super good at that so it took me like maybe three different times of trying to figure out where they wanted me to put the stuff um to get it to work the way that it's supposed to but once i once i had it like in the correct places that they wanted these files it's it's worked totally fine i haven't had any problems 
The only thing that I wish that it did is that I wish that once you collected a magazine or collected a bobblehead or whatever, um, that the map marker would go away on the screen. Um, so, uh, I, I wish that the little markers would, would go away after you found what you were doing, you know? Yours just looks more detailed. There were a couple different options, um, that I saw. Ones that had, like, more detailed roads and stuff. Like, the, the roads were a lot more defined, um, and that kind of thing. But I really like the colors on this one. I'm curious, uh, I'll, I would have to look, um, just on the Nexus, I would have to actually look at it, but I'm curious if I would be able to combine this map mod with any other map mods and have this one still with the, the colors that I like, but have it added on that the roads would be more defined and stuff. Some of them are compatible with other, you know, with other mods, like map mods and, and other ones aren't, so I'd have to look. Cause I don't remember. I don't remember if this one was compatible with other ones or not. Oh, you know what? I'm getting the brew, buddy. And I, um, forgot to bring, I have one of the beer recipes. I have one of the Gwinnett, um, brew recipes and I didn't bring it with me. That was stupid. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that there's a recipe in this building. I think back behind a bar or something. But I don't really care enough to go get it. Uh, through your console. Yes, you're also PC, so you probably have more options. Oh, I'm on PC as well. Uh, I play on PC. I just use an Xbox 360 controller. But yeah, I'm on. I'm on the PC. I've modded my game on console before, but I'm never happy. Because there's definitely better mods on PC than on console. Faux show. Yeah, but I did. I had to go into, like, some of the files and move stuff around. Which I'm not. I'm just not very good at it. That stresses me out. No, I'm not on PS4. I'm on PC. Uh, activate unit. Beginning startup sequence. Unknown hardware detected. Auxiliary BIOS detected. Flashing operational subroutines. Micro brewers operational. Internal bottling mechanism operational. Output dis hey, buddy. start up sequence. Hey, buddy. Yeah, I, uh, I'm really bad at playing mouse and keyboard. There's only one, like, shooter game that I play mouse and keyboard with, and it's a game called Bunker Punks. So, um, I like playing on, I prefer playing on PC. Um, cold and refreshing. but I like to use the controller because you know it's just easier for me. Since I had cold beer. Very good. Never. I You've never had cold beer because we have never drank a beer in the game. Level. She's a liar. Now we commence delivery to the Hotel Rexford. Uh, yeah, yeah sure. Beginning transit operation to Hotel Rexford. And you know what's going to be super annoying is... I killed a bunch of the enemies that are gonna be like in our way on our way back already, and I bet you they're just there again. Loosh shall return. All right, Loosh, I might still be on uh, whenever you get back. I'm gonna do this. Uh, this is gonna be the last mission, I think, for tonight. I'm gonna turn in, buddy, and then we'll call it. We'll call it from there. There he goes, off into the blue. I should probably go with him before he dies. And now my title is a lie because it says we're hanging out with Nikki V and we're not. We're with Piper now. <laughs> but we were with Nick originally. We finished uh, Nikki's quests for getting all the tapes and stuff earlier. So we were with Nikki. We were with Nick. And then we got his affinity perk and we finished with him. So now we're with stupid Piper. Bleh. 
Just looked up Fallout 4. Strong, same roleplay, and nothing showed up. Strong. Just looked up Fallout 4. Strong. I'm not sure what you're looking for. ASMRs. ASMRs? I've never watched an ASMR video. That's a lie. I watched one that was like with cooking. It was like an ASMR thing of um, making a cake. And it was weird. <laughs> it was not what I thought it was going to be at all. Come on, buddy. You are the slowest walking brewery I have ever been in the company of. Has anybody ever kept him? You watch it for sleep? I have like, um, an air purifier in our, in my bedroom that makes a ton of, I love white noise. I should really just probably just buy like a white noise machine, but I have an air purifier in my bedroom that makes so much white noise and it's so lovely and it makes me so happy and Joe hates it. <laughs> but I have it on every night on like super high and it's pretty loud, but I like it. It makes me happy. Oh, we can do Nuka World. What do you think about that, crab? That you sounds like Joe. Your things that make you happy. <gasps> Did you bring me food? Yeah. Hooray, food. Thank you. Well, we're almost done. We're returning, buddy. Oh, yay. Are you returning him or are you keeping him? I'm returning him. Oh, I keep him. You would keep him, you beer addict. <laughs> yep. I listened to your voicemail. Well, did you do it on stream? I, I did listen to your voicemail on stream, but I didn't like play it for the stream. Oh, okay. I wasn't gonna listen to it, and and then Wizard was like, "It's Joe. It could be important," and I was like, "Meh." <laughs> oh, it's 11 11 to make a wish. <gasps> it's 11 11. Everyone needs to make a wish. But only if you're on the east coast. Yeah, but you know, where's Viv? Oh, you know what, Loosh? Since Joe's here, you can see Viv. I think he's gonna change into some jammies and then maybe he'll pick up Viv and show her off for you. Even though she hates to get picked up. <laughs> Nova went live. Oh, no worries. I'm not worried about it. People do their own thing. Dad has his ham radios for white noise. I love white noise. I was just telling everybody, Joe, about how you hate my air purifier. Mm -hmm. It makes me so happy, though. I need it. I'll die if it's not on. I'll just die. Yeah, Lucian says he needs his Viv fix. What is this? Is that a quesadilla? Uh. <gasps> There's that puppy! Oh, she's so cute. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, she's so great. She's a parrot. Ow. No, she's heavy. Stop. Half a cheese quesadilla, half uh, a... <laughs> she's not, she's barely in frame. You uh, people can't see her. My stuff's on delay, so I can see what it looked like now. <laughs> <laughs> you have to bring her back. Nobody can even see her. You have to do her on my other, on my other side. Mm -hmm. She's probably gonna run away. Oh, she didn't even try to get away. <laughs> she hates getting picked up. It like super upsets her. Maybe you should get a cat instead. The cats are easier to pick up. Okay, come over this way. You have to go on the other side. I have trouble getting past you when I'm not carrying a Joe giant just called puppy. me fat. No, oh, I said my puppy. No, Vivi, look at the camera. Everyone wants look to see your pretty way. face. Your pretty yeah. sad face. Said, oh, death claw. They said Vivi. That was a joke. They said Vivi. <laughs> there you go. Oh, now you want a cat? Have a Great Dane, he's really cute, but he's also really fucking stupid. I wanted to get a Great Dane, and then Joe was like, I don't like big dogs, because I'm a wiener, so I wasn't allowed. I love big dogs. Vivi is the smallest dog that I've ever had. She weighs like 50 pounds. Oh, there's Bitty. Oh, we make Bitty. I give Bitty. Doesn't she like to dance? Do, 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 do. Bitty dance. Do, 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 do. Bitty dance. Do, 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 do. Here you go. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe it was being a mean bitch because she misses something. Oh, 
at school whenever she got like whenever she got like kicked out of school the other day i mean that's possible okay. i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know what her fucking problem is oh <laughs> joe brad threw tea at you he t-bombed you Lucia's satisfied now good yeah, I don't know. I don't know what her what her deal is with how she was being at school the other day when she got kicked out. I mean, I took her to the vet. I had to pay fucking eighty dollars for no reason now because there wasn't anything wrong with her, which I f I knew that was gonna fucking happen. Like, I knew I was gonna make her a vet appointment and they were gonna run tests on her and whatever, and they were gonna they were gonna say like, yeah, no, she's fine. She's in like perfect health. So, I'm happy that I took her because like I know that she's fine but I'm mad that I had to spend money on it for no reason like if I had taken her and she would have had something wrong with her like I would have been really happy that I took her and not like be mad about spending the money because there's something wrong with her but there's nothing wrong with her so I don't know and I'm pretty sure next time that we take her what I'm gonna end up doing is um, just hanging out there for a little while to see if, um, see if she does anything while I'm there. Um, and hopefully she doesn't, and it was just like a one-time kind of thing, and she doesn't cause any troubles, you know? Oh, I don't freaking know. We'll see what happens. All I know is I'm gonna be super fucking angry if she, like, gets kicked out of fucking daycare. I'm gonna be really mad about it. Kinda got bummed out playing Fallout 4. Had to switch to Fable 3 for a while, which you haven't played in a decade. Of oh, you know what, Rivenwind? That's so funny uh, that you're talking about Fable because I'm doing a Fable 3 um, series on the channel right now. And, uh, Fable 3 is my least favorite of the Fables. The first one is my favorite. I have complete playthroughs on the channel of Fable 1 and Fable 2, and I'm working on a Fable 3 one right now, like I said. But, um, Fable 3, I just do not like it, like, at all. And it's so painful for me to play it. Like, it's so hard for me to play it just because I don't enjoy it. And if you like it, that's totally fine. Um, like, one of my, my best friends is, like, one of her favorite games, and I'm just not into it at all, and it makes me so sad, because, like, everybody, um, not everybody, but I had tons of people request for me to play it, and I was like, okay, you know, I did play the entirety of the first one, I did play all the second one, and some of the DLC for the second one, so, like, I might as well finish it out and play the third one, um, but I'm just like, oh, it's rough, <laughs> it's so rough for me. And I want to like, I want to like it because I love Fable. Like I want to like it. And I try so hard to like it and it's just, I can't, I just can't like it. The only redeeming quality is Reaver. He's my fucking favorite. I love him so much. Mary Reaver. I wish it was an option. <laughs> Completely forgot about the Fable series. Still dealing with fleas with kiddo. The shampoo ran out and you also need to walk. Oh, did that shampoo work for you pretty decent though, Brad? That one that I suggested for you? It has such good reviews. That's what gave- Oh, that's what gave you the idea. Good deal. Well, I'm glad that you're enjoying it. There's just something about it that just always, like, rubbed me the wrong way with it. Like, just something, I don't know, about that the, the mechanics were kind of weird, and it seems like they really want you to, like- they really want you to use the magic, which I never really do. I prefer using, like, the swords, and I don't like that there's guns. I would rather that there was, like, the bow and arrows still. I don't know. I think it's just too far removed from the first one, and that's why I have such a hard time with it. If it, if it was more similar to the first one, I think I would like it a lot more. <laughs> Your everything crashed. I'm sorry, Petey. Oh, and he got rid of his hotspots. Good deal. I'm glad that he got rid of his hotspots for you, at least. I just don't know. I just don't have any idea what's going on with Miss Bibbelin here. But like I said, I think the next time that we take her down there, I'm just going to hang out in the lobby for like 20 minutes and watch and just see what she does and if they end up having to pull her out again. Because like, I really like taking her there. And we've taken her there for over a year and never had a problem. She's gone there between two and four times a week for a year and we've never had a problem with her acting that way. So 
I don't know. And it was sort of effective on fleas. Poor kiddo. I'm sure that you guys have, like, problems with it down there because it's always warm. Axe body spray is heading out. All right, Axe, have a wonderful rest of your evening. I very much appreciate you coming and hanging out here. I'm going to be ending the stream in a minute anyway because we're turning in Buddy and that's the last thing that I'm going to be doing. But I do very much appreciate you stopping by and I hope you had a good time while you're here and I hope we see you again sometime soon. But, you know, we'll see what happens with Miss Vivillin here. I just, I really like that she's able to go down there and run around with other dogs all day and, like, get all of her energy Bring out and all friend. that kind of stuff. I am the Brinkus. You know what, what I mean? Is it's that broom me. she knows tell me about. It's the brew buddy. Here to provide entertainment oh, and I oh, see you later, Let's Roleplay. Thanks again for coming and hanging out. I hope that you have a good rest of your evening. Always appreciate you coming by here. Yeah, I probably am going to do a raid, Lucia. I'm going to see who all's on. I know you said that Noble's on. Here's your money. Oh, thanks, bud. All right, so that's going to be our last thing here. So I'm going to go ahead after this is done. I'm going to pop back into Sanctuary and drop off our stuff. And then I'm going to go ahead and see see who all's on. See who all's on. And maybe we'll do a little raid here. Pete's heading out, too. Have a good night, Petey. Oh, you're just saying bye before I do. Heard that. Yeah, we'll see. After we go back to Sanctuary and drop our stuff off, I'll see who all's on here. And maybe we'll do a little raidy raid. Hashtag Ropo raid. It's a new thing. It's the new thing that we're doing. You guys should get in on it. <laughs> You're going to Hefe's? Heard that. I haven't been to Hefe's in a hot minute. He moved over to the Twitch. He abandoned me. No, he got, he got in trouble. <laughs> okay. But you should definitely go swing by Hefe's PD because I know that, like I said, everybody everybody asks about you all the time. They're always like, where's PD? I miss that young man. Okay. We probably don't have that much to get rid of. And I guess I could take... Um, I could take the Gwinnett Brew recipe that I have now. I can still take it down there and give it to them, but it's not a big deal. I just usually have it on me still, and I happen to just put it away. The jack. On top. Well, there we go. I'm going to do a hard save. And pop on out of the game here. And we will go ahead and see... Who all is streaming? Any of my streaming buddies? Let me take a looky loo here. All right, who is on? I think you know what? I think we're gonna. I think we'll go raid. I think we'll go raid Noble. She's playing some uh, WWE 2K19. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the link in there if you guys wanna come over. And we'll do one of these. We'll do a Ropo raid if you guys want to head over after this year. But I'm going to be ending it. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your evening. I very much appreciate everybody coming and hanging out with me for a little while. I do hope that you had a good time. If anybody's new, hi, hello, welcome. I do have a link to my description, Instagram, Twitter, Discord, a couple of the things if you want to check those out at all. Uh, Discord is the best place to keep up with when I'm going to be live streaming. And then I do post like all my regular videos in there. And there's lots of things to do in the Discord. But yeah. Have a great rest of your day, guys, and I'll see everybody later on. Bye! Yippee! There'll be no wedding bells for today. I got spurs that jingle, jangle, jingle, jingle, jangle, as I go riding merrily along. Jingle, jangle, and they sing, oh, ain't you glad you're single? Jingle, jangle, and that song ain't so very far from wrong. Jingle, jangle, oh, Lily Bell, oh, Lily Bell, oh, Lily Bell, oh, Lily Bell. Though I may have done some fooling, this is why I never fell. If I got spurs, that jingle, jangle, jingle, jingle, jangle. As I go riding merrily along Jingle jangle And they sing Oh, ain't you glad you're single Jingle jangle And that song ain't so very far from wrong Jingle jangle